Any mentioning in matter of one to five is daily board? Twenty third. Six to fourteen. Let's see serial number fourteen. There was a legal note of Mr. Rao, Lordship, a request for Tuesday, 21st, Lordship, if possible. 22nd. Lordship, oblige Lordship. 15 to 25. Lord, uh, serial number 15. Lord, in this matter, I have filed the caveat on behalf of the respondent union. My name is not shown. Lord, by consent, I am seeking a week's time. You filed already? Pardon me? You file your appearance. Uh, appearance is filed. KVT is also filed. KVT is the filed. The copy of the memo petition to my learned friend because I had received the copy of the KVT. Which way? Can we have the file, please? Not it's in this 15 number. Not Thank you. Ah. Ah. Went to you, will be otherwise, it should be a part of this. So, please, my lord, put my lord, uh, keep the matter in the next week, my lord, so that we'll keep it. See, uh, Mr. Upadhyay, right? Since his file a caveat, his name should be reflected. He has been already given a copy by Mr. Naidu. Requires matter to be posted on 22nd. 22nd, Mr. Upadhyay. 22nd. 23rd. 23rd. Or 27th. All right. If he wants next week, therefore, we're keeping it. Otherwise, 27th? Please, Mother, no difficulty. 27th. Okay. 26th to 34th. Did I mention your logic? 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 Did I mention First of March. Your leadership serial matter number matter at serial number thirty three. I am requesting for priority. If my lady recollects, this is the matter where both the agency have initiated the investigation of the subject matter. Now my urgency is that now so every other agency is now threatening me to pay money and they conduct search and everything. This matter is pending at last month before my. Right. Request. So requesting for priority. Well, item numbers 30 and 31. These are fresh matters pertaining to land acquisition. May I please request for priority? Yes. I'm grateful. 35 to 44. But of 42, it's a land acquisition matter of 10 years old. 
I have not received either the principal or interest at all. Why so? Madam, they have not given it and they are madam, raising some of the other issues. More, this very land acquisition officer, the inquiry is going on a proper order in another matter by bench headed by my Lord the Chief Justice then. Madam, I am waiting for long. Madam, Monday. Madam, I am Madam, every, every proceedings are over, papers are over. Madam, they property is mutated in their name and they come out with all flimsy excuses 10 is years for the 10 years you not received any amount i'm sorry no amount has been received no none but i hundred percent tell we have not been given a single pie in principle no no it's deposited after the order of court in 2020 but not given to me all right um is there some stay granted by this court no okay uh, Bhai, Madam, may I request it? We, we can do one thing. Monday. Monday, we can Tuesday, keep it or 42. Just give us the papers. Okay. We can we can find out as to what is the actual issue. But I'll if not they have if they've already uh, but I can tell in one Mr. Tana, if they, they, nee, Mr. Tana, if they've already deposited and if some but order needs to be passed from our side. Some amount, uh, that order can be passed, but the point I'm making is. Hmm. But a point is very simple. First time they raise an objection in affidavit about a property which was not mine. They have mutated in their name, the authorities. Mm. Today, they are not giving me nothing. And but for some other reasons, I understand the turnover of AGP. And I sympathize with them. But I am somebody. And two first courts, different chief justices have passed orders and say, Give it to them. But therefore, I am requesting as early as is convenient to the court and I will not take more than five minutes in all. But if property is mutated in their name, what should be the objection? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appear with Mr. Dardin. I am speaking to If my lords look at the order, it will be quite clear. But in on October 2020. Anyway, uh, we just could briefly look at it. Compensation, if it's already been deposited, there may not be, may not be any requirement for him to take instructions. Keep it at 2.30. Tuesday. Yes. But they have mutated in their name. But I'm sorry. All right. We'll keep, we'll, we'll, we'll keep only, one line. only one line. Only one line. The properties are mutated in their yes, name. Yes, yes, you said that, Mr. Tanna. Let him, let him take instructions on I'm Tuesday. Difficulties, but, but the game plan, I hope I'm wrong, is delayed. So the officer is benefited. We, since, no, no. Mr. Kathiria, we know he is doing dealing in our courts, so we know no. So he, he will take instructions. Please say he'll, he'll Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Can we request in first five minutes? Keep this uh, uh, after fresh admission matter. And you take instructions in that. Now that Tuesday. amount can also be dispersed on Tuesday or whenever. You can make a request on that. I will do that on or like to my person. Thank you.
Okay. Who's appearing in this matter from the state? Mr. Uh, Kathiria is appearing. Did you see the speaking to minute note? Just, just check that. Give it to him. Yes. Serial number 40 is for order, Lord Chief. Mm. Withdrawal, of, Withdrawal of appearance. appearance. Mm. When we have the high court rules, it is here, uh, it appears to be. Appearance, board of appearance of okay, members of the more um, than one I know is to find more of acceptance and open to status and the most of another to appear 432 Kodach. Instead of appearance, par against appearance, form of a color and open not to find a new reduction set of one who is already on record. Correction departed, okay, no to find a new reduction. So, SCA 157, sorry, Red Prishman 57 of 2019. Mr. Joshi. Asit B. Joshi has uh, already communicated to the Registrar High Court of Gujarat that he would be no longer appearing in this matter. The retirement process is already sent through Registrar ID post. 
His name from the record is uh, sought to be deleted. Paragraph, we notice the which Gandu Gram Panchayat uh, letter addressed to Mr. Joshi that the Panchayat is uh, desirous of engaging someone else and therefore is no objection certificate should be given. Mr. Joshi's name should be deleted from the course list as per his request. He has already communicated and the papers also have been sent. Necessary registry post has been already brought on the record. <clears throat> Paragraph, it appears that uh, Gram Panchayat Gadu has uh, specifically made a request the Gujarat High Court rules is provided for withdrawal of appearance by advocate the leave of the court will be necessary for this withdrawal he has uh, already done it since he has been instructed to that effect and he intimated his uh, As a requirement under 133.1 has been fulfilled, the notice to be sent to the party under 133.3 of the Gujarat High Court rules. We made returnable on 9th of March. We can keep it on 15th March. That's fine. Hmm. That you pay the tax penalty and produce the title of the document before this honorable court. But by way of filing speaking to minutes, kindly parallel the para number one. Wherein they are deleted that part to produce the original document before this honorable court. And only the bond aspect they want to. But one thing which uh, need to mention in the order that the, upon the permit furnishing the uh, original title as well as the penalty as well as the tax, the goods as well as the conveyance may be released uh, provisional basis. It is not mentioned. What to that aspect, my logic may. Allow this. By way of the speaking to minute note, it is brought to the notice of this court that an undertaking not to alienate the property, not to create encumbrance for the third party interest is ordered, however. Inadvertently, it has been omitted that the goods and conveyance requires to be released. Consequently, with that to be added, uh, and remaining order remain intact. The speaking to minute not discussed. Yes. Number 46, 47 and 48, 49 to 51, 52 onwards. Office. All office objection. 52 onwards are all office objections. Wherever there is a need for change of advocates, because in a couple of Texas matters, we have realized that uh, maybe Mr. Patel or Mr. Uh, uh, Raval shall need to replace. All matters are pending for a very long time. No office objections have been removed. Therefore, we had requested the registry that at one go, let all these matters be posted so that all of you also come to know that office objections are to be removed. Please do it in 15 days time. There's going to be a common order 
If no one removes that, it will be dismissed without further reference to the court. Four weeks. Hmm? One to four weeks. Why? Difficulty. I was even about to request. All right. So your benefit will be also others' benefits. So in all matters, four weeks to for everybody. Huh? Three fifty. Which which? All right. So because of that, the CA is not coming up on the board. The state is not removing the office objections. All right. Um, the state uh, of Gujarat is there, uh, Mr. Athiria. You would be yes, appearing. Honorable court, for the timing, may list the name. But we will also do the review on that day. If the honorable court is of the view that these objections are something which can be repaired, the matter may be. Yes. He says that since they are all senior citizens, yes. just look into the matter. Yes. Mm. Okay. So 356 and 357 separate order. You can say that uh, civil applications are permitted to be moved with office objection in as much as the LPA preferred are by the state and in civil applications, the senior citizens who are above 80 years are making a request for early date of fixing early date of hearing. Um, it will come before which bench? This bench. All right. We can keep this on the first March. Will will that do with you? First March. By then, the state can look into the matter. If there is a need for you to remove whatever, you you can just do. One second. All right. Second March. Rest of all matters. With my notes. Mm -hmm. Serial number 523. Mm -hmm. So this civil application can be disposed of today itself this wise, that the main matter has been disposed of and withdrawn. Therefore, the cause of civil application now does not serve. All right. 523, CA1 of 22, according to learned advocate Mr. Sukwani, the SCA triple one one three of 2022 has already been disposed of. This CA therefore would not survive disposed of in wake of this submissions item number 470 this is a revival application revival of a contempt application which was disposed of may I request for dispensation of one annexure just to complete the record copy of a check and the computation that precedes issuance of check has been placed on record but not much reliance is placed on it mm -hmm. Not much. If you're not relying on it, you can say that, then remove office objection. Just go and tell them that you're not wanting to actually rely on this. Then it's a different thing. Where, where if, you, I, if you're going to rely on it, then the office is right. I, I'll do that. But then in that case, would your uh, leadership grant me circulation for next week? I'll do it today itself. Hmm. No, no, but first remove the office objection. We'll tell the office that the moment objections are removed Very. in seriatim, they'll be immediately, within no time, they shall be Very. placing it before the court concern. I'm great. Malaj, may I? Malaj, I'm requesting for circulation of an LPA. Please wait, please wait. We are on to this board. We thought that we are. Anybody else to in office objection board? Okay. Fifty-two onwards. Those. Two matters, three matters are to be omitted. All office objections are to be removed within four weeks. If not done within that particular period, the matter shall be dismissed for want of prosecution without any further reference to the court. If once the office objections are removed in seriatim, Without further loss of time, the official place it before the concern court for further proceedings. 
Yes. Is it 13, 14? Okay. Do we have any scope on Tuesday? On Tuesday. Hello, Jamal. Type copy, maybe? Have you seen? Have you checked? Translation is not needed. We have said already translations. Yeah. It will not be needed. Okay. Let it be on in that case on 23rd. Mm -hmm. 22nd or 23rd, let the court master decide because we do not know he was saying yesterday a couple of matters now only a limited scope. So, yes. Manoj, may I? I'm requesting a circulation for a better student opinion. So, all of it's, it's ready and it's not being circulated. All right, next week. Manoj, Gosham, I'm requesting assessment year 13 14. Uh, First time some number has reduced. Okay. Hmm. Still not returned the same. They've not returned the jewelry has been had been seized during the search and they've still not returned the same in spite of the fact that all the tax has been paid. Okay. When do you want? Any Monday? No, Monday. Tuesday or Let it be Tuesday. Okay. Hmm? Type copies. Okay. That's, that's your circulation for income tax matters. 13, 14, 14, 15. On Monday. Tuesday. Let's type copy. Maybe. Monday or Tuesday. Let court, court master say. Monday. Monday. Okay. Lordships. Let it be on Monday. Okay. Circulation for one GST matter. With regard to section 96. Type copy may be suspensed, but there are other office objections as well. However, I am only requesting that type copy may be dispensed. The others will be removed. And I check. You will be removing the rest of them. Okay. Yes. So she can go before. Monday onwards, uh, uh, the indirect taxes will be with. Uh, the, the bench headed by Honorable Justice uh, this side. So you'll have to go and mention before that bench. Maloj, hmm? may I? I mentioned for an urgent situation of civil application in LPA, Maloj. For Monday or Tuesday, Maloj. So uh, let it be on Wednesday. Hmm? Wednesday. Maloj, I'm requesting for circulation of an LPA subject to lawsuits convenience on 22nd or 23rd. The urgency is that the learned single judge has passed an order wherein restoration of an entry has been allowed. However, the title subsequently the title to the suit has been decided and it stands in my favor, Manoj. So therefore, if your lordship could please run circulation. Uh, either 22nd or 23rd, Gajabai, the LPA can be permitted. Manoj, if certified copy may be dispensed with, we have already applied, Manoj. We have not yet received the copy. We will under, provide an undertaking. So let it be. I mean, it is uh, if there is any extreme uh, urgency of any kind, then it is a different thing. Otherwise, let the certified copy come. Please you can yes, yes, yes. so unless the certified copy comes, we're not going to. Lordship, may I request for urgent circulation of two one forty eight matters for assessment year thirteen fourteen and fourteen fifteen on Monday. Permit Type it. copy may kind of be dispensed. Thirteen fourteen we can permit on Monday. Yes, Mister. Obliged. Is it the one uh, text matter too? 13, 14, We're keeping it to the, that on Monday, so it can be common. Lordship, I request for circulation of a restoration application, which came to be dismissed for default. If this may be, circulation may be granted for Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, if the uh, time permits, that can be given. Lordship, requesting okay. for urgent circulation for one income tax matter, AY 1415. 1415, Monday. Great for your Lordship. May I request for high time for five thirteen and on Lordship's board. Hmm. The office objection matter as such major office objections are removed. Only this is the partnership one, one of one of the partners has died. And therefore the office has raised the objection that the all there's no signature. The office objections may be dispensed with it. It is filed in on 20th of January, sir. There's some urgency in the matter. Okay.
प्लीज आई एम ऑब्लाइज टाइप कॉपी भी माय लॉर्ड सीरियल नंबर 442 एंड 528 आई एम मेंशनिंग ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ मिस्टर धर्मेश गुर्जर माय लॉर्ड आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर टू वीक टाइम फॉर रिमूविंग ऑफिस ऑब्जेक्शन ओके ओके बिकॉज़ आई एम कमिंग जस्ट नाउ ओके कैन आई मेंशन मैम मैडम माय चाइल्ड कस्टडी केस हैज बीन गोइंग ऑन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ एंड द बेंच व्हिच हियर्स माय मैटर is i think i have not been able to have their audience now it is months together i have not seen my daughters now these are the two orders i have from one from supreme court and one from honorable uh, bijat aigo sir and this is okay uh, court master tells us that uh, before uh, this court at 4 o'clock this has been scheduled so let us yes, see yes, today if it otherwise it should go to the regular bench it yes. cannot continue so we will pass an order and uh, we, which is the bench which is taking up the family court matter uh, can i submit something here ma'am justice mm -hmm. ajay desai sir has uh, has heard this matter a lot uh, after the current bench which is hearing the matter so maybe if at all it is a yes no, no it whichever is the roster it will yes. not go to justice desai they met the daughters sir. they met the family so these are the orders this is the size court first appeal other than it will go to justice the size court only okay okay do i need to submit these copies of high court and supreme court where they said okay okay thank you ma'am yeah mention now chief serial number 509 uh there there is no office objection in this matter uh, we have checked the status also so my uh, why has it come then in that case and lot chip i am not 509 i would like to lot chip because there is the ca for staying a matter where uh, uh, this honorable court has already decided the identical issue there is settled legal position even though uh, lot chip now the notices are issued for reopening assessment after following orders of this honorable court lordship payments of refund were also made and now there is a doesn't matter this is since it's an office objection if there is no office objection or or it can be so my request was if it's like there are hmm so it's wrong hmm. but then in that case here there are many of them fixing of uh, hearing and all that so for condonation so can just check that because can see that the restoration contempt contempt fixing so that we could see or stay for interim and all for con condonation and then go and for it there is no objection There's no need. No objection. No. Hey, yes, there is. Not please. And Kajiba, you can तेरे नंबर वन मिस्टर जयमीन दवे it was not permitted to file transfer uh, thereafter honorable supreme court passed an order which i already passed over whereby a specific time limit was permitted for the purpose of uploading transfer during this period 
my registration was suspended. Therefore, I made a request to the authorities that I may be at least permitted to upload transfer because cancellation of registration is a different issue altogether. And that would not have any bearing so far as uploading of transfer is concerned. But because I cannot access GST portal, that was not permitted. On last occasion, my learned friend indicated that since newly added respondent number five uh, handles the portal, therefore they will be proper and necessary party. Therefore they were joined. Their argument is that because my registration is cancelled, I cannot access GST portal. And because I cannot access GST portal on account of registration uh, cancellation of registration, I can't file transfer as well. But Lord, just, if my lords may kindly see section 29 of GST Act, it talk, 29 subsection 5 talks about effect of cancellation of registration. If I may read subsection 5, every registered person whose registration is cancelled shall pay an amount by way of debit in electronic credit ledger or electronic cash ledger equivalent to credit of input tax in respect of inputs held in stocks and inputs contained in semi-finished goods or finished goods held in stock or capital goods or plant and machinery on the day immediately preceding the date of such cancellation or the output tax payable on such good, whichever is higher, calculation in such manner as may be prescribed. Therefore, it talks about payment of tax, which is outstanding. Uh, apropos this, if my lords may also refer to rule 81 of GST rules, it talks about file, filing of final return after cancellation, rule 81. It says every registered person required to furnish final return under section 45 shall furnish a return electronically in form GSTR 10 through a common portal either directly or through a facilitation center notified by commissioner. Therefore, if my let's say if my registration is cancelled and if I do not want to restore that registration as well, then I am entitled to the refund of the input tax credit that is there. Merely because I cannot access portal, I would not be disentitled to refund. In fact, a similar controversy came up before Honorable Bombay High. So far as you are concerned, you won't. I just want to upload trans one. I am as far as cancellation of registration is concerned. I had preferred an appeal. The mm. Appeal was dismissed for default because it was. There was delay in filing an opinion. It was not accompanied by delay condonation application. So I'm independently fighting out for the purpose of restoration of my cancel GST registration. But so far as filing of trans one is concerned, in an appellate jurisdiction under section 107, the appellate authority will not be able to pass an order for filing of trans because their jurisdiction will be limited only with respect to restoration of registration and in fact similar uh, controversy came up before honorable bombay high court in this case lordships what had happened is the petitioner voluntarily cancelled the registration if i may uh, refer to para 3 onwards Petitioner was registered for the purpose of GST and his GST registration number so and so. Petitioner closed his business and applied for cancellation of registration which was granted by an order dated so and so. 
at the time of cancellation the petitioner uh, it is petitioner's case that petitioner had to uh, head to his deemed excise credit a sum of rupees so and so it is petitioner's case that petitioner was entitled to claim transitional credit in from gsa transfer under subsection 3 of section 140 of cgst petitioner applied for trans, uh, transition but due to various reasons petitioner's transition could not take place considering the documents annexed to the petition and documents handed over across the bar with a copy of respondent counsel it appears that petitioner is unable to transit the credit because petitioner registration has been cancelled subsection 1 of section 29 cgsc provides for a party to apply for cancellation on his own motion subsection 2 of section 29 provides for proper officer to cancel the registration of a person on certain uh, situations mentioned therein subsection 3 of section 29 provides cancellation of registration under this section shall not affect the liability of person to pay tax and other dues under this act or to discharge any obligation under this act or the rules made there under uh, for any period prior to the date of cancellation whether or not such tax or dues are detrimental before or after the date of cancellation therefore it is imperative for petitioner to be permitted transitional credit to to new gsc regime section 30 of cgsc provides for revocation of cancellation registration but that only envisages a situation where a registration is cancelled by proper officer on his own motion it does not factor a situation as in the present case that is registered person has applied for cancellation of an application of revocation such a cancellation or restoration of registration so then i may skip to section uh, to para 9 here in case in our view Petitioner cannot be permitted to forego a sum of rupees so and so, which according to petitioner is entitled to be deemed excise credit, particularly when under subsection 3 of section 29, his liability will continue even after cancellation of registration. It will be wholly unfair if the petitioner ends up having to forego the, uh, the deemed excise credit of a substantial amount of rupees so and so, hence we pass following order. And then Honorable Bombay High Court permits restoration provisional restoration of registration for the purpose of filing transfer and if that is not permissible honorable bombay high court at uh, point number d also says that it can be passed physical file physically the facts were slightly different so far as there it was a voluntary cancellation section 30 does not permit filing of an appeal against voluntary cancellation because obviously the person is himself cancelled but there is no mechanism under gst act where it, let's say if registration is not restored at all i cannot claim that transfer that credit amount You need to uh, the the tax which is due you already paid. No, in fact, they have carried out assessment. There is no tax which is payable. Their own assessment says that I am entitled to refund. All right. So according to you, and in the appeal, what are you challenging? In appeal, my challenge is with respect to cancellation of registration. Okay. So right now, the only issue is about the tran one. Tran one because tran one permits me to carry forward the credit which i had under the earlier regime and what do you intend to do you do not want to carry on your business Lord, yes. i intend to carry on the business and that is why i am in appeal for restoration of registration but i am taking a hypothetical situation where even if i do not want to carry on the business then then this credit amount i am entitled to refund because that's a tax credit which i have which i could have set off against the tax liability and your only difficulty is that though when you are in appeal, the appellate forum will not be in a position to direct. That's the only reason why you please, approached please, here. Please, my lord. Okay. Yes. You already heard the state. It's just a, on the GSTN you'll need to tell us. So far as GSTN is concerned, my lord, because presently they don't have a valid registration. So therefore, their existence on GST network is not there. So therefore, in order to file a tran one form, they will have to be their registration will have to be existing at that point in time. And then secondly, the order which my learned friend had uh, submitted of the Bombay High Court. Hmm. And it's that we'll forget about the, Bombay High Court right now. That will will go about the law later on. You just tell us about the facts first. And so therefore, so far as the present case is considered, my here if my lords may go to the prayers of the petition, they are only asking about the tran one form. They have not uttered anything about cancellation of registration. That fact has also been brought into the petition by way of an amendment. This petition is dated 2020. 
filed in the year 2020. Amendment is carried out recently, Madhus, that the cancellation has taken place. Now, Madhus, so, so therefore, first of all, the question of cancellation will have to be decided and order on that cancellation will have to be passed. Their registration will have to be restored and subsequently, Madhus, GSTN will have the power to probably uh, uh, process the Tranman application. Now, this will also be subject to what will happen to the two months period given by the uh, Supreme Court matters. In the present Mumbai High Court as well, at that point in time, that window was open. And that's how much probably this order was passed. Presently, even if GSTN wants to consider after the uh, registration is restored, then also matters that two months period will be a question. Matters. Because that was a limited two months period opened by the Supreme Court. Within that two months, they'll have to supply all the documents and everything, and subsequently matters that would have taken place. Why, why cannot not, why can it not happen uh, with the directions of the court? But there were many petitions filed on the same issue with mm -hmm. respect to filing of TRAN 1 in order to carry forward the credit in the, uh, before 2017. All of them were clubbed. Subsequently, Supreme Court passed a common order that all these petitions or all these applications would be filed within the window of two months. Because there were many questions with respect to the time limit, whether now at this end, can these applications be filed or not? Because all these credit were prior to 2017. So therefore, in order to verify whether it's credit was... It's just that the state was showing its you know, uh, inability. They were saying that we are not in a position to do anything so far as Tran 1 is concerned, it's GSTN. So why, what is the hitch? Why can I mean, you have any limitation in your software, therefore Mach, it cannot. Mach, therefore, Tran 1 will be transferred only when a person is existing in the software. That, or that, you, the that, you, said, that you have said already. Mach. Otherwise, what can be the difficulty? Mach, there would be questions with respect to limitation of filing the Tran 1 as well. Because now these credit will be prior to 2017. And mm -hmm. that's how I look. And this was a moot question why the whole issue had gone to Supreme Court. And that's how Supreme Court finally decided that there would be a window open for two months. Uh, whichever applicant can file their applications along with the proofs and then subsequently those would be processed. Now, my my uh, my learned friend or the petitioner would have had approached before that two months or within the two months. All right. Would have had uh, for these beliefs at that Assuming time. it is not that. Would your, should your software's limitation be the reason for the court not to grant orders? But subsequently, the question of statutory limitation will also have to be looked into. Statutory limitation, Whether, you can argue. That you can argue and the court can consider. Once there are orders of the court, why is it the state saying that we cannot do this? But because yes, the, these are after, after all, these are all softwares. You are there to facilitate you know, state's function. Under the statute, specifically if a person's registration is cancelled, my lords, the Tran 1 Please don't repeat. Please don't repeat. You have said it thrice. We have heard you. That point we have noted. The question is, the state is all the time saying that unless the GSTN does it, we cannot do it. So therefore, our question is that why is it that instead of you know facilitating the state's function, why is it so that your limitations for whatever reasons you know you kept in your softwares are the reasons for the state not to function? You know, with the efficiency. The limitation as per the statute, as hmm. per the statutory provisions, that Tran one can be given only to those taxpayers who are registered with the department. And that's how much the whole software has been designed. It is not as if that's a, that there is a provision under the statute that a person whose registration is cancelled can apply for Tran 1. It is not a provision at all. My learned friend may point it out. Here in the present case, my notes, in the software itself, the registered person can file their Tran 1 application as per the statute. Because today their application, they are filing uh, at the time when their registration is cancelled. At that point in time, Madhuj, where the application will have to be processed. So therefore, there is no provision with respect to that. Okay. And that's how the GSTN will have its limitation to process that application itself. All right. Fine. You have to add anything, Mr. Kathiri? I'm following the argument that Tran 1 is not allowed. And uh, as per the statute, the person itself is not registered. So that person is not in position to claim that. That's See, no, do you realize one thing? Uh, okay, you can tell us. He's uh, 
understanding of uh, appeal which he has filed is this the reason why this court needs to come into the picture is because he says that the appellate court even if exceeds to his request his registration which has been cancelled if it deems it appropriate to restore then also the so far as tranman is concerned appellate authority will not be in a position to give any directions we are not wanting to go for the reasons the reason for his coming and approaching this court is only this much so do you realize that there are two authorities one authority which is otherwise given the appellate powers and which can decide actually on merits once there is an authority in deciding on merit this court doesn't need to even entertain that aspect it the authority concern will decide as per the statute we not wanting to add to our burden but the difficulty that he is posing before this court is that even if the appellate authority decides it will not be in a position to direct to gstn for the tran one which only the court will be in a position to do and therefore he is approached here so now the appellate authority where the matter is pending is still taking a call and if eventually it decides and chooses to decide all right you can answer this if the appellate authority chooses to restore his registration will it be in a position to then direct the tranvan to uh, registration cannot be restored because he is approached belatedly right correct what was the delay it's within the statutory time period or it's not it's not beyond beyond so even if he moves now which he had not moved earlier there is no likelihood of uh, the authority concern to con on the delay they shall have to come before this court for that purpose so once they come here then the question would arise of as to whether that aspect can be dealt with or not all right suppose his uh, application was well within time and the appellate authority chooses to accept to the request and Uh, restore the registration would that the appellate authority still be in a position to direct the tranvan to be done no in the supreme court thereafter she is permitted by way of some grace the supreme court says two months correct uh, in the technical term it is issue so what is happen if the original jurisdiction is the state authority then the state authority prepared the one of the report and forwarded to the jst portal uh, jst portal verified that uh, the told the portal that if the petitioner Uh, has made any attempt to upload that, and at that duration, there is whether there is any technical glitches. The GSM portal after verifying this, 
followed the snail with the mother before the snail died. Based on that, the, it is okay. But subsequently, after the expiry of the statutory limitation, even the appellate authority will not, will not be in a position to do it. So, right now, according to you, even if his appeal is pending, what is coming in his way is that he has not preferred the condemnation application. And once the condemnation application, which has been filed beyond the statutory time period, he will have to essentially come before this court because they have already taken a call. And unlike uh, in the previous regime, where they used to say with Supreme Court's latest decision, they will not be in a position to get it condoned from the concern authority. All right. Yes. Two aspects. My learned friend says that uh, petition was filed and cancellation of registration was not to, brought to the notice of this honorable court. It, it is not the case. No. Now, the only issue that remains is that since you already gone before the appellate authority, this court is not supposed to be looking into that. You do not want even the court to look into the merit part of it. But the, their say is that the time or the window which the Supreme Court had given, you had not made a request for opening no, of I this. No, the request. Mm. But because what it, I had made the request, or in fact, on 25th of November 2022, mm. I also addressed a letter to them saying mm. that because my registration is cancelled, mm. and at that point of time, my appeal was pending. The order about dismissal of appeal came much after that. I, and the dismissal come on the ground of delay. On ground of delay. What was the delay? Not just it. According to them, it is 216 days, but they have not excluded the COVID period. There's then no, what would happen to if a uh, COVID period is excluded? It would be around 182 days or something. So we are in the process of filing that restoration application on this ground. But at the point of time when the window which pro, which was provided by Honorable Supreme Court was open, my appeal was pending. I made a request that kindly consider my difficulty. I am not in a position to access the portal. Therefore, if I am permitted to submit the transfer, I can at least avail that input tax credit because in a in an appeal which I have preferred for restoration of my registration, authority will never have jurisdiction to pass an order permitting me to upload transfer. Even if I come before this honorable court, it will be an appellate jurisdiction. Therefore, the limited question before this honorable court would be as to whether my registration shall be restored or not in that appeal. The only remedy before me today is to approach this honorable court under 226. And it is not as if I have not approached the authority saying that, look here, Honorable Supreme Court has granted this window. It's, it's not that. The only issue is that at the time when you had preferred that appeal, you ought to have also gone with the uh, uh, convention or uh, the period which you had not preferred the appeal. But now, according to you, the COVID period, even if it's excluded, still there is a delay. So the court on the ground of the delay has not entertained your your petition, Please, right? So now, have you moved that or when was that? When when was the rejection? That is 12th of December. 12th of December. Now, after 12th of December, have you moved the court concern? No, we are in the process. Not as yet. But not just I am taking worst case against me, let's assume that I do not restore that registration. Then also there has to be a mechanism whereby I'm refunded the amount that I'm entitled to. The GST Act doesn't contemplate any provision whereby that refund would be eligible to me. In fact, I should... But those cases where you're saying that they're wanting to voluntarily not continue their businesses, that is a different thing. Where the registration is not cancelled, they are not wanting to do the business for whatever personal reasons. And in that eventuality, they can say that, all right, we are not wanting to do the business and therefore we do not require this registration. The question is that at that stage, when it comes to the credit to be refunded, they may not mind. Please, Madam. But here is a case where you want to continue your business. Your registration has been cancelled for non-filing, for which you are in appeal where you had chosen that not to, you know, prefer any application. So your counterpart who has gone before the appellate authority possibly has been oblivious of all these requirements and has preferred the appeal. Please. Now, if he's done it, authorities also can't be blamed, you know, for rejection. 
So if in, it has already come on 12th December, the best course is now, why do you need this uh, trend one here is because you want your earlier credit to be okay. taken into consideration or to be carried forward. According to GSTN, what we can at the best do is that in the event of the appellate authority allowing your appeal, your registration to be restored, GSTN will not come in the way and they'll permit this. That can be done. So once, because their only issue is about this, and Mr. Kathiria also admits that appellate authority will not be in a position to direct the GSTN about it. Please, Madam. Therefore, so the, subject to restoration of my registration, I yes, at least trans one yes, is but then, to be permitted to be. Yeah. He has said that uh, they are in a process, so let him gather the detail. And if he gathers the detail, uh, he will have to let us know. We will keep it after two, three matters. Just find out from your counterpart whether you've done it or not, because we don't want any order to be in abstract. Please. That you know, you not you still contemplating to pass it, and then we pass an order, and then direct GST and something. You know, there has to be some concrete material before right. us to say that you already preferred it. But that's probably will have to be filed here uh, under 26 because no, no. they're saying that they're going before the concern authority because there is no delay uh, beyond the statutory period. Since they had missed out on it, maybe I do not know whether they're going for review or whatever. That appeal is dismissed in Limine by one line. Not. Not. Serial number two, uh, Mr. Vashadrai, the way, Mr. Nikun Travel, Spy Leave Note. These are those four matters where Mr. Rao has and it is stored by SAS. Yes. Can anybody uh, from Mr. Rawal's office be called? I think on the last occasion, he did say that uh, this is a covered matter. We still want one of his uh, colleagues to be present. Hmm. Keep it at one o'clock. Hmm? Ask someone to be here. Serial number three. Uh, Mr. Hardik Bora. Oh, very short issue for registration cancellation, madam. Yes. Originally, SOCOS notice and uh, cancellation order on page 22 and page 23 are passed. And those are completely silent, not saying any allegation except saying that registration has been obtained by means of fraud with full misstatement or suppression of facts. That's why I have requested for revocation. They have not passed any order for revocation. So I have moved before Honorable this court. Honorable court has quite ordered it 24th November 21, specifically directed them to pass the order after giving opportunity and so cause notice page 42 is the relevant page para 13 if i can read that so para noticing the fact that it is only after he decides not to accede to the request of revocation of cancellation that such a stage would come at that eventuality be also taken note of once the officer chose not to allow the request straight away, he would have further period of four weeks, one week for issuance of notice and availing time to petitioner of one week, as also to allow him representation and then two weeks thereafter for him to decide finally. However, in the event he is agreed with the request of revocation of cancellation, the same shall be decided in a week's time. A specific direction has been given with timeline. However, without giving any such so cause notice by giving only general notice that say whatever you want to say, I have given details 
and they page 14 is the order of holding cancellation rejecting my revocation application on completely new ground stating that as you are involved in the bogus itc and bogus billing activities your page 15 second para is the relevant para your registration cannot be revoked this is not ground or anything which has been told to me before this order Uh, as my lords have seen on page 21 and 22, the ground is that I have sought the registration by means of fraud. That was allegation. So I have given all details regarding that. All documents for registration are genuine. I have done business activity there after all those details have been given. And then they came with the new story. And that too, without going with the order of honorable this court and there is a statutory requirement as also that before cancelling my revocation application they have to give me so-called notice under rule 23 miles. you're relying on page 39 the order of double four double two yes my lords the relevant uh, Reason on page 42. Mm -hmm. Para 12. And in para 13 detailed timeline, including timeline for SOCOS notice if they want to reject it has been given. Nothing has been done. And they are rejecting on the entirely new ground. They, are, they keep on in the reply affidavit also, they keep on saying that the person is involved in bogus billing activity. Where they have stated that to me. Where they have followed the prescribed procedure under the act. Where they have followed the prescribed procedure as specifically ordered by Honorable this court. Nothing else. All right. That's the same. Uh, at page number 14 is the appealable order. The contention which was raised before this honorable court that after direction given by this honorable court in special civil application double court double two 2021, the authority is required to issue the fresh focus notice. The fresh focus notice were issued at page number 53. Now, the representation against which the representation, representation was made before the authority. Kindly perish page number 56A. I'm sorry, my Lord, can I please see page 53, which my Lord is saying so-called notice. Yes. Is this a so-called notice? Yes. Page number 56, the contention against that notice. Reverend Sathya Janahanu ke lagbag bhe varash paanch mahina pehla aap shri GST cancellation na order na revocation maate arji karal tiyar pat varam var aap shri rajwad karwa chata maari arji rajwad vinanti teo saambadwa na avi kaida ke rite 30 divas ma arji cancel na thai to rad karwa so and so. Naina Siddhantma Siddhantane Anusari Pan Amari Arji Amari Arji Mari Rajwat Mujab Manjur Karva Yogya Che Vilam Devaraj Pachina So and So Second Para it is very important. Nuati Jahar Karusuke make Kutpan Prakarna registration mate na apel dustavet ka cheda karel nati mara go down upper. SGST team spot visit visit karel chhe. Hema koi pan shakti karel nahi. Mara RPD group so and so karwa ma avel chhe. Uprok hal parcel tapas ma demand order recovery karwa ma avel nahi. Mu direct tapas ma sampona so and so karwa ma avel. Arji mari arji manjur karwa ma avel chhe. 850 karta vadi divas so and so. 
the contention which was raised that you have uh, belatedly carried out this proceedings. But this honorable court has given the direction to issue the fresh focus notice and uh, initiate a fresh, pass the fresh order. Now, what to the involvement of the present petition? Hmm. Kindly peruse the page number 62. Yes. Para number 12. Mm -hmm. It is provided the petitioner had not provided the document in consonance with the grievance raised against the petitioner and the petitioner not found available at the principal place of the business as mentioned in the register detail of the petitioner. The detailed order on 5th January 2022 was passed after proving, providing an opportunity of being heard to the petitioner. It is submitted that the impugned order as well as the uh, magnifies that the petitioner has utilized the as much as 95 0.955% of the ITC is paying the taxable person over the turnover uh, turnover as uploaded on the common portal for the financial year 17, 18, 18, 19 and 19, Now, uh, para number 15. It is submitted that the proceeding of the investigation of 108 forms enlisted by the DGGI Sura along with that the petitioner is pen, uh, pending and a final tax liability yet to determine. It is submitted that when a petitioner himself make you know, while making the statement recording under section 70 of the act has admitted the evasion of the tax duty by the virtuing the to, into the bogus billing transaction the same satisfying the preliminary in, uh, ingredients to invocation of the power section 83 and 80, uh, 73 and 74 in consonance consonance with uh, consonant of which in the order prevent. Uh, prevent the petitioner from further. So now, quite to that aspect, kindly see the statements which was made before the DGGI by the present petitioner, wherein the whole list were produced before the pre, uh, present petitioner. Page number 82. These statements were recorded by the DGGI authority wherein it is specifically admitted by the petitioner that the bogus forms had been created had involving the bogus transaction. Page number 82. It's just uh, we needed to know that uh, in earlier petition, which is very seeking to rely on, it says that by rejecting his request for revocation of cancellation, there ought to be uh, a notice for a period of seven days. Please watch my page 42. Yes, the para number 13. Not. 12 and 13. 12 and 13. In the 13, this honorable court had gave the direction. Uh, noticing the fact that it is only after deciding to uh, not to accelerate to the request of revocation of cancellation that such stage would come at. Uh, 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 at that eventuality, uh, be also taken note once the officer choose not allow the request statement, he would have further period of four weeks, one week for issuance of the notice and availing time to petitioner one week, as well as allow him the representation and then two weeks thereafter for him to decide the final. However, in the event he is agreed with the request of the revocation of cancellation, the same shall be decided in the week's time. Uh, after this direction, the authority had issued the notice on uh, page number 53. 16th of December 2021, the same authority, revocation. Uh, Which was the date? 16th? December 2021. Hmm. Wherein the hearing was fixed on 13, uh, 23 December 2021. Page 44 is the... Uh, no, 53. Lot. 53. 
the contention which was raised that the petitioner is not aware that why the cancellation uh, cancellation proceeding has been carried out. But before initiating the cancellation proceedings, the DGGI authority had already taken a place the whole proceeding investigation. The petitioner made the statements and he is aware that what to that form he is creating the bogus forms as well as he is involving him into, into the bogus transaction and therefore the shokos notice what to the cancellation of the registration was issued it is also mentioned in the imperial order mm -hmm. against which after issuance of this shokos notice the present petitioner was appeared before the authority the imperial order is paid at page number 14 lot Para number two lot. Namdar court, uh, Namdar High Court na adesh in a so and so. Adesh anu sandhan tarik sword bar beja rigvis na roj tarik revis bar beja rigvis na roj lekhit tatha mangkit rajwad karwan notice apna mavel je baba the tarik revis bar beja rigvis na roj. So what according to you is now the, the he left to go to the appellate court? Yes, under section 107, there is a remedy with the present petitioner mm -hmm. to challenge this revocation application uh, before the appellant authority. And satisfied before the appellant authority that they are the genuine. So the registration is not for the creating the fraud or mistake. And the detailed order is passed to involvement and in the revocation order, we are also mentioning that the involvement of the present petitioner as per the information received by the DGTI order. And it is also served page number 18 not to the RPD. We would be just looking at uh, the violation of the principle of natural justice, whether there is a sufficient uh, time granted to him or not. On 23rd December 21 is the uh, revocation uh, application which he has given. You had issued it, as you see it, on uh, 16th. Uh, sorry? 16th December. Hmm. This proceeding is initiated before filing the writ petition before this honorable court. Doesn't matter. The court had directed and then thereafter you've given it on 16th. But so yes. after you 16th, he gave, gave he gave you a reply on 23rd. Yes. And, and after that, uh, this is his reply and your submission on uh, 17th December. He had appeared before the court. 27th, uh, 27th December, so on. So after 23rd, you see it on 27th, you'd heard him. And on no, the 5th the January, 5th January is the order. Yes. So according to you, there's sufficient time which has been yes. granted. Any statutory time period for that purpose? Lordship. No. In 107 years, Lordship, that is 107 is fine. One factual aspect I need to point out before this honorable court. Kindly peruse the page number 84. The statement made by the present petitioner before the investigating authority. The question number six.
the two legal aspects I need to submit. First of all, page 22. The argument I'm going to raise is whether revocation proceedings go, go beyond the original proceedings. That is the argument firstly. And secondly, when in the original proceedings, everything is silent. Honorable, this court has already caused number of such notices. Page 22 may please be. This is the original so cause notice for cancellation of registration. The only line they have stated in the middle of the so cause notice is one in case registration has been obtained by means of fraud, willful misstatement, or suppression of facts. This is the only allegation they have raised in the so cause notice for cancellation. On the next page, page 23, which is order for cancellation of registration, this is again completely silent. As regards to what are the wrongdoings I have made. Akarwal dying would be squarely applicable. I have taken that objection also, but because revocation application was pending, my lords at that time have stated them to decide the revocation application. But then this is also a, one of the most important ground and that would be multiplied to the fact that now at the revocation stage, revocation is whether the original proceeding is right or not. They cannot come with a new ground in revocation proceedings and the 253 now, my lords, may please go to 53 again once. What that is asking for is this so cause notice? It's a, a small para they have stated in the page 53, which they are saying so cause notice for revocation. Uprokat visa tata sandarbit patra anway absinia jana no cap srina number ni revocation ni tarik ni arji sandar thail namdar high court na ade sanway absinia tarik sudima raju karwana pura vasai the training kachiri opasit reva janava ma avel che. Now, this is asking for documents. Why my revocation is required to be rejected? That is what they have to state over here. So two ground over here also. In a moon, in a moon. Yes, my 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 first relief on page 40, para A, 5.1A at the end of the page, is itself for causing of the order, first of all. Then my second prayer is regarding they may in alternative they may decide on revocation application. But then my first relief requested for is always these only, my lords. Special civil application 3224 of 2022. Petitioners before this court seeking to challenge the action of the respondent authority. By seeking following prayers, para 51 paragraph, the petition is a proprietary concern trading in all types of scrap. It was granted TIN number on 13 June 13 under the Gujarat Value Added Tax Act. And he is a regular taxpayer. First of paragraph. Shokos notice was issued on 24 June 19 by the respondent for cancellation of registration on the ground that it has been obtained by means of 
willful by fraud and willful misstatements or suppression of facts. Full stop. It was he was the, the petition was directed to appear on 28 June 2019. However, when no physical notice was received, and as the petition is not tax savvy. He could not exceed paragraph on 26 July 2019. Pursuant to the seed notice, the respondent cancelled the registration of petitioner without making any mention for reason of cancellation paragraph. Petitioner preferred an application for revocation of cancellation of registration in form GST REG 21 on portal on 1st August 2019. On 1st August 2019. According to the petition, he had not been responded to, although on, numerable, on numerous occasions he had requested the respondent for time when the restriction was released uh, in post covid period he again made a request to the respondent to either accept or reject the application no action since has been taken by the respondent for about one and a half years he also Raised a grievance for revocation of registration. On centralized public grievances redress and monitoring system. CP grams bracket over paragraph the petitioner. had emphasized that he had no intention to fraud, to defraud the authority or make any suppression of facts. The petition on 6th August 2019 for, on the charge of fake purchases is prosecuted. However, no charge sheet till date has been filed and no show cause notice has been issued by the department till date. According to him, the liability has not been conveyed by DGGI. Petitioner, however, has not received any response from the respondent until 24 11 21 and therefore he preferred as ca4422 of 21. in this court uh, allowing the petition directed the spera 12 and 13 paragraph the respondents were requested thereafter on 14 12 21 for deciding the revocation application pursuant to the order of this court Paragraph, the response number three. And ask the petitioner to provide documentary evidence on or before 23rd December 21. The written submissions were made on 23rd, 12, 21 making a request to revoke the order passed by the respondent for cancelling the GST registration as he neither tempered with the document nor committed any fraud. It is a grievance that without considering the submissions 
on 5th January 22. Without issuing the show cause notice, the respondent has rejected the application for revocation. And in the order, it has been mentioned that he's involved in bogus billing with various parties. This was at no point of time, even the part of the show cause notice. Paragraph on the ground that the order passed is without providing adequate opportunity to explain the transaction with various parties. And also on the other grounds, this petition has been preferred. Paragraph, we have uh, the prayer sought for as follows. There are five point one. On issuance of the notice, the affidavit in the fly is filed by the respondent number one, reiterating the allegations and urging this court that uh, for caution of the order, dated 26 July 20, 2019, Cancelling the registration under the GGS Act. And for the rejection of the revocation of cancellation dated 5th January 22. There are uh, alternative and efficacious remedies provided. The order of rejection of revocation of cancel registration was subjective in nature. And had rejected the amount of transactions and also the parties from which the bogus billing transactions were entered into by the petitioner. It is also submitted that the application of the petition for revocation was approved because of the technical glitch in the portal. Uh, it was in detail that the additional state tax commissioner, Surat, approved the application and a fresh show post notice for cancellation on account of bogus billing transaction was issued. There are 107 firms involved in bogus billing transactions investigated by the Director General of Intelligence and a detailed report was supplied. The statement of petition and his brother had been taken by the Concern Authority on 10th April 19 and 6 August 19. Where there are certain admissions which have come in relation to this bogus billing transactions. Paragraph, it is further contended that petitioner, petitioner has not provided documents in consonance with the grievances raised by the petitioner and is not found at the principal place of business. A detailed order on 5th January 22 was passed after providing an opportunity of being heard. Paragraph, it is further to say that petitioner has utilized 99.55% of ITC in paying the tax liability over the turnover as uploaded on portal for financial years 17, 18, 18, 19, and 19, 20. Since he failed to pay the tax liability as required in accordance with the law and for the fail to produce any document to sustain registration under GST, the same has led to cancellation and for the rejection of revocation.
You were the learned uh, advocate, Mr. Hardik Pura, and for the petitioner, Mr. Rupesh Kathiria, learned AGP for the state. It's not in dispute from the record that there were in earlier petition, I see double four double two of 21. The prayer sought for by the petitioner was to quash the order dated 26 July 2019 issued by the respondent for cancellation of registration under the GST Act. This court had notice that no procedure had been followed by the proper officer, but not chosen to issue any notice to show cause indicating his intention of rejection. Certain statutory rules which provided the prescribed limit were disregarded. And therefore, this court had uh, Exceeded to the request of uh, the hearing the matter from the stage where it was left by giving the timeline for those stages to be completed. Paragraph it appears that. Pursuant to this order dated So, the difficulty still remains in this matter is about the cryptic notice and the order both. Yes. So, we are on, on the ground of uh, Agrawal dying. We are saying that uh, give the detail. Okay. And uh, uh, all your rights are kept open. Okay. Uh, we I do understand that uh, uh, you have uh, narrated the, the you know huge scam, the bogus feelings, etc. You should be, the officer should be more aware of his role. In, in the present case, Lordship, the petitioner is aware about that aspect. Prior to initiate the proceeding, what was the cancellation of the registration? The DGGA authority had already initiated the proceeding. He is aware about the facts. Question uh, is not about that. Question is about your right. issuance of the Shoku's notice. Right. It's a, but, so you have, a, so why are you? Presuming anything because ultimately, if your orders they become so vulnerable, it's just some more training to the officers, you know, which is so much necessary. And they could have rectified even now, after the court had demanded the matter, that rectification could have come. The order is well speaking. Everything, every aspect is considered, but I bow down about the pursuant to this order. We noticed that uh, on 13 12 2021, a letter is addressed to the commercial tax officer seeking the revocation of cancellation, the pending matter where it is urged that uh, without following the due procedure prescribed in the CGST rules, the application for revocation is in the form of GST REG 21 and GST portal has been preferred. 
it is also for the rush state. The code had passed an order for ready reference. Application for uh, revocation due to unknown reasons is yet to be decided. The direction of the court have been sent on 16 12 2021. It had been he had been requested to furnish the documentary evidences. Yet another application of 2721 has been given. Where also he has taken a stand that there is no show cause notice giving the details. He has no idea as to how they have uh, alleged of the fraud or misrepresentation. Authority concern. for want of uh, necessary documents and also on the ground that this is a case where investigating agency has already noticed the bogus billing in case of the present petitioner and others has already denied the Cancellation of registration. Paragraph. We could notice that the notice which has been, Shuko's notice which has been issued is uh, quite cryptic. This quote in SCA. 18860 of 2000. This is reported already in 2020. 137 text meant 332. Has at length decided this issue? Agarwal dying and printing versus state of Gujarat. You can uh, write down from nine, para nine on this. Hmm. Similar order. This in no manner, none of the findings and observations in any manner shall prejudice the right by the side in pursuing their respective <coughs> stands before the authority concern within the, the, the respondent shall be at liberty to initiate the actions by giving a detailed notice within one week, two weeks, two weeks within two weeks from the receipt of copy of this order, which will be made available to them. So the same findings and all that uh, uh, as in the last one. Fresh shock was notice in relation to the revocation. Please. Revocation, I fresh, know. Original fresh notice, revocation, whatever, yes. in that uh, we Please. are leaving it to the author. Right. 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 Only uh, for the reason that in the revocation proceeding, they cannot go beyond the original proceeding. Right? So, okay. We decide. We are giving option, keeping every option open for you. Your initial notice is also quite hollow. 
your office can uh, choose yes, to do that. This is... I, I will inform the office. You need to, I think, this, some more training. For, for the... Okay. I understand once again. I apologize. Again. Not only that, I mean, I, we have a serious uh, concern about it. I mean, is it uh, something, you know, which is being done knowing fully well as to what is happening? Yeah. So. I wish. Please, wish. I apologize. What? Number six, Sir Ram Krishna Dave. Hmm. If it can be gapped on Tuesday because the London government leader is appearing and she will be assisting the Honorable Court. If it can you file your reply? Yes, reply has been filed, but uh, uh, I realize that there are certain provisions. As well as a compilation which will place value in advance. 959. This matter, Milos, I have been uh, they've been seeking time. This is the third time this is happening, Milos. Earlier they filed a reply at the last minute so that I take time. I had objected then, lordships had granted priority. It was there again after that also, Milos. You have been seeking priority. My vehicle is detained since 20th of December. The matter is according to me covered by my lord's judgment directly. Okay. My lords make and with cost, my lords have allowed the petition. It uh, has been challenged before the big school. It would not apply for the reasons, facts. Which no, no, that taken. is fine, but that has been no, challenged. That, no. that is not the controversy at all. In fact, day before yesterday, this matter was listed. Some of it was not taken up. We requested our senior that today there is some difficulty, well in advance. But because it was already adjourned today, we did not seek any further uh, change of date. If it can be kept on Tuesday, we'll I mean, that. reply is also filed. But they should somewhere, I, they should start with the matter. It should. Absolutely. So, Tuesday, but Tuesday, 28 Tuesday. December, today we are on the 17th of February. The vehicle will deteriorate. Milos, though the section says that they have to take care. No, it's just care. a matter of two days. You know, they are making requests. We we do understand your anxiety because of your vehicle retention. Let it be on Tuesday. Please. We'll just give it a priority. Let it be. Uh, let it retain its number on that day. And Milos, uh, I expect from the government at least that much fairness that if they are going to give something, they may give in advance. What they do is in the late evening they show a copy yeah. to my yeah. learned yeah. friend, yeah. 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 so that on the next day. Late evenings, Milos, this, these documents are given. Because that happens with us day in, day out. We never complain about it. I'll assure that I'll give in advance. Today I'm stating. If it, is there anything uh, left to be given? Only that a small compilation I have proposed my department to prepare. That too, I have proposed that we shall prepare a compilation of relevant provisions and few judgments so that the matter takes less time at the time of argument. All right. Just give them in advance Please. so that Absolutely. Mr. Desai is right that you can. Uh, hmm? Yes. Lord. Request has come on part of the learned DGP, Mr. Sharma, for the matter to be taken up on Tuesday as learned government leader is going to argue this matter. She is not available today. He has ensured that any compilation if is going to be presented, same shall be also in advance given to the other side. Please, please. Yes. Next is also Okay. Yes, both, matters. both matters. Serial number eight. Uh, so, Darshan Purandani, Mr. Amar Mithana. Proposed to preface my submission. Now I propose to uh, preface my submission. That's why for the learned single judge in a petition filed by the appellant has passed an order which is in pure hearing by virtue of which while issuing a notice Lord, ad interim relief has been denied with an elaborate reasons which forecloses my option at the stage of the further hearing. So, although Lord, order appears to be an order at the stage of the notice denying an ad interim order, there is virtually my Lord uh, rejecting my Lord or rather foreclosing my co-formal further relief, and therefore I am before the Honorable Court. But I am explaining 
the vacuum matrix in nutshell. So before so, my friend proceeds with his response to this, Miller, while issuing notice, Miller, the learned signal that is committed to give the elaborate reason because that is how the matter is argued in extension. And therefore, because unless the arguments are dealt with by the learned signal, then it may be said that though these contentions were raised, they have not been considered. So, because virtually, and I, my learned friend's apprehension that it forecloses all arguments for the coming for future is not correct because these are all ultimately tended to occur later. And the matter, main matter is otherwise also coming up on 13th March. 13th March? Just a month ago. If, well, this, just a moment. Well, Mr. When matter was argued, mm -hmm. well, was no, no, there, just I, please, please, I wait, was not please there, but... let me just try to understand. On 13 March, now the main matter has been main fixed. matter is coming up. All right. Now, for us to intervene at this stage is only because you are apprehensive of the observations which have been made, which forecloses. likely to foreclose your right to argue further. The other side says that it is because there are certain arguments made, the court dealt with it. It is their understanding also that it is not going to, in any manner, curtail your rights to argue and the court to consider those aspects. We can clarify that. Because what has happened? Yes. If the Honorable Court Malod is inclined to clarify, mm. so what happened? Why allowed reasoning? May I may add one thing, Malod? Mm. Well, when a matter was heard, the indication given was that it is to be disposed of finally. Mm. Well, page 638, the status report shown on the date on which the matter was heard, order was awaited. Status report on page 638 would indicate matter disposed of. So well, it appears that on account of that, the allowed reasons were given. When the matter well, to, to our benefit, the order is noticed. Well, we welcome that, but I'm, well, I'm not objecting to it. So, well, the observations, the elaborate observations. Well, in Vedpa Respectful Submission, when the learned single judge concludes that I have no prima facie case, well, in my respectful, what is to be argued at the notice, well, after notice, well, what is to be argued for intent building? Therefore, if the Honorable Court is inclined to clarify that these observations will not come in my way, and on 13th of March, the matter will be heard for the purpose of interim relief. But they can't have a second round. No, that's what I'm adding to I'm sorry. That's the catch, Malo. They would like to praise this. Well, let's be fair, Malo. If my learned friend also agrees that this should not come in my way, you should agree for an appropriate clarification. These are tentative observations for not granting relief at the initial stage of issuance of notice. Now, the matter obviously will be heard for admission and further orders. And the law will take its own course. Malo, my friend wants an observation which has the effect of nullifying the entire order. No, obviously, pass. After hearing him for three days, well, I am also the greatest respect would not be fair to the learned judge also. No, and we do not want to curtail any rights of any of the learned judges. One, two, it is only the apprehension, and your understanding also is that the matter shall be decided on its own merit so at on the 13th March. Mm. Today, an ex parte, this is just not that I want to argue the matter, but it is arising out of. A mutation entry proceedings where learned secretary has passed an order against them. Mm. Now they wanted stay of that order. The learned single judge has given reasons. Eventually, if the learned single judge finds that the order itself is required to be set aside, mm. it will be set aside after Correct. final hearing. Correct. Now, just to say that we want what my learned friend effectively wants is he wants a second round of hearing on mm. inner No, I'm sorry. That is what he says. Sir, that is that is sir, when I say that that this any 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 finding. At the stage of interim relief, he is always tentative. That is settled law. It when is added interim, not interim. Sorry, for that. But actually, this was interim. Where we find but our reply, the state was heard. Matter was heard for three days. Well, all when well, before the My friend, friend wants page two. Well, page, uh, internal page page, now, page there right. may be seen. Yes, wait. We can't hear both the councils. Uh, therefore, I am trying to assist the honourable court. Page there may be seen. Paragraph four. Well, if Page Z, paragraph 4, internal page 10 of the impugned judgment. Her learned advocates appearing for the respective parties issue notice returnable on so and so. So far as the respect of suspended concern, the same is rejected considering the facts involved and the reasons discussed herein after. Well, this is not a case for a post up of final hearing, it is notice stage. But therefore, in my respectful submission, 
non grant of an interim relief to add interim relief at that stage my lender fund wants to mall foreclose my option on the returnable date now next date please wait what has happened to the <clears throat> civil suit which was there civil suit mm -hmm. well inquiry respect of submission it's time or nothing no civil suit but secondly my applicant there is one Well, why, do, why do you say there's so no civil suit? Suit. Keeps on interfering. No, no. Principal civil judge, by its order dated twentieth. Sorry, principal civil judge has decided something. There's a judgment of the principal. Civil. No, Malo. That's not that. Not, judgment is not deciding, Malo. I'm I'm trying to point out that mm. plus application number miscellaneous application number thirty three of two thousand and ten mm. was for the purpose of obtaining letters of administration mm. at the instance of contesting respondent number ten. And that letter of administration is excluding this land. On my understanding, between the petitioner respondent number ten, but what happened? The well, respondent number ten applied for letters of administration in respect of various properties of the deceased, of whom I am also claiming to be the legal heir, along with respondent number ten. In that application, the land in question was excluded, not kept. Then, but a compromise was arrived at. In that, we agreed. With a clear understanding, then in respect of the rest of the properties, this would not come in my way. That the compromise records. Thereafter, I have moved another application for letters of administration for the land in question. Now today, in my respectful submission, letter of administration granted in respect of a particular parcel of land and not the land in question. Plain my respectful submission cannot be relied upon to oust me as a legal heir for mutating my name. Yes, wait. This civil suit two thirty eight of two thousand eighteen, two thirty two thirty four of two thousand eighteen. See what happens once there is so a civil suit will not have any bearing in my respect. No, no, no. Please wait, Mister Dave. The reliance has been placed. Please, please wait, Mister Dave. Why would it not have any bearing? If a party comes and says that I am the owner or I am a successor. And if the other party is objecting in a probate proceedings or in any of those successor proceeding. And if this converts into a contest, there shall have to be a regular civil suit, yes, and which has happened in this case, and therefore there is a okay. Now, now if you say that one of those uh, the, the property in question was not forming the part of that two thirty four of two thousand eighteen, you can say that it is not so, forming the part. Two thirty four refers to this property. Now, she may appreciate that is one. The issue is this: on what basis the name of this phone number ten? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, Mamladar, Deputy Collector and Collector, three other authorities concurrently hail that Respondent Number Ten has no right for mutation of his name or her name in the revenue record. Why this land, on the basis of letter of administration issued by the Court of Competent Jurisdiction in Civil Business Application Number Thirty Three of Two Thousand and Ten, which is Paragraph Five on Page Z One, reference of which. Well, the name of respondent number ten has been mutated by the Special Secretary Revenue Department on the basis of letter of administration issued in this application, which does not refer to this parcel of land. For this parcel of land, my application is pending before the Court of Competent Jurisdiction. Well, in my respectful submission, when letter of administration is issued for a particular parcel of land, and that too, on a condition given by me. If my lord may have a look at the court, how much of that? Per eleven. Yes, that was that. Per eleven, court has mentioned. The, therefore, in my respectful submission today, if at the notice stage I am to be denied ad interim relief, it has to be restricted to ad interim only. But I am prepared to go before a non single judge because there has to be more of a notice is issued. There has to be a further hearing. But today, at the admission, the first stage of hearing, the honourable court says I am issuing a notice. But not granting you ad interim. Now, Malo, the way in which the reasons have been given, and Malo, understanding as it is, Malo, born out from page page six thirty eight. On that day, matter was heard finally. From today, Malo, I am in a situation whereby the matter is at last we will under single judge for further hearing, including the stage of the interim relief, and I will be forced. Therefore, my lender friend is not agreeing. When I made the honourable court put a suggestion, he says, "I cannot have a second inning." Well, in my respectful summary, there is no second inning. This is the inning which is contemplated now. Okay. Therefore, well, before any single judge, if the honourable court is inclined to clarify that these observations will not come in my way, 
or would not preclude me from facing into service my contention for grant of an interim relief. Well, I am prepared to my Lord, not press the present little bit of appeal. I am prepared to go. But well, well, what remains in the matter? Well, May I Malo, take the honorable court to the factual matrix in nutshell, Malo, to make the position very clear? But at length, the order, so there's no requirement for that. This is the only aspect is that on 13th, when the court has kept that matter, whether it's for the final hearing, we do not know, or whether it's for the admission purpose, it is... Uh... It is notice for admission purpose only. All right. It is so, not even notice for final disposal. Okay. It is not for admission for final disposal. The court, it goes without saying. I think possibly what the court, uh, for whatever reasons, has not made a mention is that this will not come in the way when we hear the family, the matter. Because otherwise, every court knows that at the interim, at interim stage, when you're passing any order, it is always, you know, after hearing both the sides, looking at yeah. it extensively, it never says in With profound respect, it is so apparent, Malo, let there be a clarification of the Honorable Court, it will Malo, add to it, Malo. I can, and there are no seeking something which is... No, just wait. Um, Mrs. Sanjanwala, on your part, uh, would you have any objection to, because you yourself have said that this is at the interim stage. So at that stage, what all, uh, uh, you know, if, if that is, there is an understanding, a clear understanding on your part that this is at ad interim stage, the court can then function and can go on with that. So, Malo, rather than, than yes. Let's, uh, we were appearing on page. This is essentially a dispute between us. As far as government is concerned, the authorities are parties because they have passed orders. Mm -hmm. So after hearing us elaborately, at length over three days, the learned single judges passed an order saying that I am not going to suspend the order which is passed by the learned secretary. Now, that order of the learned secretary is acted upon and entry is posted and thereafter certified. So, there is no scope for suspending. Be that as it may, today, because my learned friend is challenging that order on merits. But he is saying that if I can re agitate effectively when he says that this, there are times when at the editor stage itself, when both the parties are before the court, the matter is heard at length. So, Milos, this, this distinction, Milos, normally an editorial model is one where there is no elaborate hearing. The other side is not there. All right. If this is an understanding of both the sides, maybe, you know, uh, by since you are waiving the notice, we'll, after waiver of that, we will post the matter for hearing. It's fine. If you, if you do not want to just go back to the court concern, for the purpose that on no, the no quarter since the 13th. What I am suggesting is something different. No, now the matter itself can be taken up finally. Uh, I have one more round on hearing of interim. What now will happen is that my friend will argue for issuance of rule. You know, these are all formalities. You know, once there is an elaborate hearing. If that is an understanding with, between the two parties, we can I say that. that. I am, that I am prepared on 13th March for final disposal. The Honorable Court may clarify. We will under single judge. The entire matter. We do not want to put the learned single judge to the presser. There are so many other matters uh, the learned single judge would be dealing with. We can, at the best, can say that it will be taken up at a, at a priority. Not on a, that particular day to be taken up just because, you know, there is a direction. I, I, I think so, that should suffice. Yeah. That should suffice. No, we'll argue out the matter finally before the learned single judge, subject to the convenience of the honorable single judge, either on 13 or any other date. That's with a suitable observation from the Honorable Court. Let us put an appeal 129 of 23 in special CA 15431 of 22. Agreed by the order dated 7th October 22, passed by the learned single judge of this court in special CF 15431 of 22. 
whereby the court rejected the prayer for stay of operation, implementation, and execution of the order dated 20th July 22, passed by the Special Secretary Revenue Department, Ahmedabad, in revision application number 89 of 21, dated 7th October 22. Sorry, uh, 89 of 21, comma. The present appeal is preferred with the following prayers. There are five. We've heard the learned senior advocate. Mr. Davaldavi, assisted by the learned advocate, Sudarshanu Oranjanai, and learned senior advocate, Mr. Sanjanwala, assisted by Mr. Amar Mitani, for the you are the original respondent, right? Original respondent, caveaters. Original respondent number ten. Respondent number ten, caveater. Before. Learned councils proceed to argue the matter on merits. It was conveyed to this court that now the matter being special C15431 of 2022 is fixed on 13th of March 2023 for the purpose of uh, admission. Both the sides have shown their willingness to proceed with the matter finally. They have also made a request that the same be posted before the Narayan Single Judge for final hearing on the 13th. <laughs> Considering the preparedness of both the sides, rather than interfering with, rather than examining the order which is impugned before this court in this appeal. We would request the learned single judge to take up the matter for final hearing expeditiously as possible. Not okay. With this, the LP is disposed of without entering into any kind of merits. But we are obliged. number nine, Mr. Vidal Shah. The civil application is with a request to condone the delay as is preferred in preferring the LPS. Hearing uh, in the petition, I have been served with the papers some time back. So notice may have to be issued. In so far as uh, I had served, Would you wave? If I will be able to wave for 1.1 and 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 presently I do not have interest. Hmm. Mm. 1.1 and 1.2, yes, you would be waving. For the rest, we will issue the notice. My Lugnet friend has appeared before the Lugnet civil, uh, Lugnet single judge for all of the parties. Wait, there is an urgency, that is how I am making a request because they are. Uh, because now the proceedings before the revenue authority pursuant to the order impugned is uh, scheduled on 23rd. And I have a strong apprehension that taking aid of the order impugned, they will uh, get an order in their favor. Sir, as such, the order impugned is passed ex part. Sir, just give me one minute so as to make. No, no, we are issuing the rule. We do not need to inquire about anything. Yes. We have gone through the papers. Don't worry about it. You would be waiving for the state? For the civil application. I would have civil you. application, you'll be waiving. Yes. You're not going to appear for one point. Uh, I, am, I mean, I've just received the papers in the morning. No, no, we're not. We, I mean, I've got we, are not, we are not wanting to decide the civil application yes. right now. Yes. It is just saving the time of making a service. Yes. If you are wanting to take instructions, since you've been served today, you can take instructions. We can post this next, next week. So that can be posted somewhere on 21st or 22nd. 
that can be done but by i would suggest that let they can take direct service and serve them that you have the email id of your client I'm sorry. do you have email id of your client mail id i will not have. you will not have 225 uh, let that is being learned in egp stream direct service hmm. sir i will not be able to get it sir, within this couple of surat that they are the family members of the rest of hmm. the parties and have I have not complete this, set this the LTV that I had before your wait in special C you've been appearing for all yeah, of I was appearing. Take instructions. Very we'll take up one or two matters. Take instructions whether you're appearing or not. So then let it be kept on Monday. Monday or tomorrow. Monday or we can Monday. keep it uh, for the purpose of uh, look, uh, you can ask the parties. We always appreciate people contesting the matter on merit rather than all these technicalities. So if they are going by technicalities so that, you know, some are not served and therefore they can just have a march over the rest. I don't think that's a very good practice. You can tell your clients because then otherwise what we can do is that we can tell the registrar judicial to make it serve today itself. And that can happen, yeah, we, which we do not want to do. I mean, if you're, if you are appearing, I mean, let it, be. you can appear, you can just keep it tomorrow. That's all I'm. Tomorrow it can tomorrow be. is uh, Saturday. I, is it, I do not. I today have received the papers. Today we I have are to... we are not wanting to allow this today. We are wanting to keep it on Tuesday for you to take instructions. Really? But service of this notice is something where we are asking. It may take a time. He is right. Very well. The civil application one of twenty three in letters patent appeal. Number so and so in special CA is a filing number 2565. In special CA 14382 of 2019. Seeking the condonation of dealer of 200 days. In filing the present appeal, the read applicant is before this court. Learned uh, Advocate Mr. Thakur has instruction to appear for 1.1 to 1.4. He waives the service for those applicants, whereas for number 2 to 5, Learned AGP waives. Mr. Thakur, since has received the set of papers today, he would need to take instructions from the opponents let the same be taken on or before 21st we shall be hearing the matter on that day 21st 20 all right 20 number 10 mr vd Kargi. Seeing early hearing, it's an old matter of 2008 is your entitlement, yes. Civil application, one of 21. This is an application seeking early date of hearing of main petition. According to the petitioner, it's going to be huge monetary and social loss to the petitioner if the same is not decided well within time. And it, uh, AGP waives the service of notice, considering the very year of the 2008, we allow the application. Let the main matter be posted for hearing. When do you want? Second week, third week? Second week of May or March. Penalty. Second week of March. 9th of March. 10th of March. You can see. 10th of March. Please. 10th of March. Serial number 11, Miss Aditi 
Raul, Mrs. Gandhi Law Associates. The peti petitioners have challenged the Labour Court's award. The Labour Court had held that we are entitled to DRS, DRS allowance of 550 per month and two rupees on every con increase of every consumer price index about 550 and leave and it's almost 10 years in new yes my lord so industrial tribunal's order is of march 2014. My lord, yes. there is no stay however we are not being given the benefits my lord. all right who's appearing for the other side you have any objection it's an application, 1 of 22 in 14141 of 14. The open number one is the original petitioner and number two, the respond number two. The applicant to union is representing the employees of the opener number one company who has raised several demands for increase of basic salary for several post service increments, DNS allowance, etc. Grievance is that uh, the special civil application was last notified on 23rd March 20. <clears throat> the vote is passed in favor of the employees. However, the company, since was aggrieved, it has challenged the award. Prayer sought for us, para 8. Exceeding to the request. As both the sides, as, as the applicant has made a request, the side has no objection and the matter is about 10 years. The award is about 10 years old. We can fix it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15th March, we can keep it. Let the matter be fixed on 15th of March. Oh, this is civil applications accordingly. Oh, right Number 12, Chinmay Gandhi, Ms. Kruti Shah. What is the urgency? Mm -hmm. The was to be posted on 22nd of 2022. On that day, it was not in cutoff. It was not notified that mm -hmm. We posted since it has gone on cutoff. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this is an application preferred to for the matter to be <clears throat> notified for admission. <clears throat> the last. Uh, Listing date was uh, 15th February 22. It was to be posted on 23rd February 22. For about a year, it has not come up on the board. We have heard the learned advocates on both the sides. The request is quite genuine. Let the main matter to come up on the board for the purpose of admission on uh, 14th, 14th of March. 14th. Civil so application is disposed of. So, yes, good. Serial number 13, Ms. Disha Nanavati, Mr. Virendra Kohil, Mr. Aditya Gupta, Saumitra Chaturvedi, Mr. Prithu Parimat. Let's hear and led by civil advocate Mr. Akhori. With some difficulty today. You want time? Yes. When do you want? Make sense. There is urgency on the part of the other side. The only thing is that till now I have made a statement which I will continue. I am not objecting uh, that I will not transfer the property. But my lord, my client is an option purchaser who has invested a lot of money. So my lord, on the uh, last week he had met me and requested that uh, he wants to construct lots. So therefore, only I I will request next week. I'll continue my statement, but I will not not uh, object to this. But there is some urgency on my part. Okay. 
on the part of uh, Ms. Dishan Anavati. A request has been made for uh, adjourning the matter as uh, the senior counsel representing him is not available today. The other side has urgency, who is an auction purchaser and is now desirous of initiating the work of construction. The matter to be posted peremptorily on 1st of March. If not proceeded on that day, he says that he may, may not continue his. Uh, please I, tell your client. I, I have been indicating so I will advise yes. my client to continue this. First March, when the matter shall be proceeded with. Yes. Yes, Kajibai. So, 16 number you can give us. And Lord. Uh, 16, Mr. Daifraj. The point of the matter is like this. Is... No, it is not uh, listed in my board you know, because main petition is mine. You know. I understand. And I have given you a copy of Ma'am, you know, 17 is uh, my CA, but for other purpose, you know, because uh, but so far as this, uh, you know, I know. No, no, but sir, 17, I have some difficulty, you know, I want to point out what is that difficulty. But this matter, you know, is not listed in my board, therefore I am playing for some. Then I will leave it to the board. There is a dispute between two people about who should get the money for acquisition. He moved a petition. This is the basic dispute. And who the land acquisition officers should give it to. Now, he moved a petition without joining me as party and got certain ad interim readings or uh, reviews. Then I moved this application for joining as party. Now, he has moved some other application after receiving a copy of my application for joining as party. But he does not give me a copy of his application. What relief he wants in number 17, I don't know. I will point out. No, but you will point out, but I will not get an opportunity to oppose. No, but that, well, one minute, let me finish. Secondly, I don't know whether he has mentioned that my application for joining as party is received by him and is, is in the registry of the court. That and even a copy of that he doesn't give to me. I, I, uh, uh, so that's, that's let, him, let me explain. Yes, yes, Mr. Shah. You know, the, so far as my uh, application is concerned, you know, what happened, I may just point out. Kindly see me, Lord. Uh, as such, I have to file note, but I moved CA. Page yes, 6, man, at, least, at, least, at least, at least permit me to point out what is it. Let, 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 him, let him point oh, out. Yes, and so, so. That, yes, it's an yes. order of interim yes. stay that you are asking for. No. Page 6, if Lord C will see in mm -hmm. my civil application, yes. Honorable Court said, third, issue notice making it returnable by 23-1-2013. A. Mantani learned AGP accept notice to the respondent way of service of notice. Interim stay has prayed for is granted. So, Honorable Court was kind enough, my Lord, uh, to grant interim stay. Then, my Lord, what happened on first returnable day? When matter is listed before this Honorable Court, that is 23-1-2023, Milord state asked for time and my Ludded friend also Milord mentions that he has instruction to file civil application Milord. Therefore, Honorable Court on that day Milord issued rule. On that time Milord, somehow because he said that he has instruction, state asked for time Honorable Court said okay rule. At that point of time Milord, it was not mentioned that interim relief granted earlier said also continued. Therefore Milord for this innocuous prayer, I moved this civil application Humbly praying that, sir, at the time of issuance of notice, honorable court has granted, but while issuance of uh, rule, this was not mentioned. And only because Milord, my learned AGP may even, Milord, can be verified that he asked for time, not a single argument has taken place, and honorable court said rule, but that was not also. That, that's why. And Milord, in this CA, I had already mentioned that why this was not happened. It is not that, Milord. In any case, you have any objection to their being implemented as parties? But that I have. 
objections will not. Therefore, because this but matter is not listed in my board today. Doesn't matter. If it's not thing, listed on your part, uh, board, it can be can give you this. What objection I am having, my lord? Because, mm -hmm. my lord, he has executed sell deed in my favor. In his sell deed, it is stated that I will receive this money when this award was passed. Then he filed affidavit. Then he filed Kabul Adnama. And thereafter, he gave consent also. And after considering everything, collector has deposited amount in my account. Then suddenly, without giving any reason, collector instructed bank to freeze the account. And then I filed petition before this honorable court when it is pending, my lord. And when it was order is passed, then very next day, my lord, bank was ordered to uh, transfer this amount from my account to account of collector. Therefore, my lord, if stay is not continued in rule, then, my lord, it may be said that they may, my lord, even uh, pay this amount to client of Mr. Uh, uh, my lord, uh, uh, my senior friend, my lord, then it would create difficulties. Therefore, status quo, I am not saying that amount I may utilize, but my lord, status quo, though, amount that is required to be continued. Let my lord may decide whether I am entitled or he is entitled. Civil application one of twenty three. <clears throat> no, no, we are keeping both this matters on Tuesday. We are issuing the notice in your matter. And I have so so no no so it is uh, for number one he will waive for number two three. Uh, Lanadi Shippi would waive. Yeah. Is there government in one and two? He will waive. This is an application. Please wait. This is an application seeking implement as respond number 3 to 10 in special CA 2593 of 2022. We've the learned uh, advocate, learned senior advocate, Mr. Marshall, assisted by Mr. Defra's Vivala. Notice. Learned Advocate Mr. Mehul Shah waves for number one and for Learned AGP for number two and three, making it returnable on 21st. Take instruction by then. Two of 23. This is an application seeking interim relief and directions. In wake of the application for implement of party which has come before this court being CA 1 of 23. After once the same is decided, this application shall be decided on the very day that is 21st. Meanwhile, my kindly see, Milord. Meanwhile, if collector may not disperse this amount, it will not may only say that collector may not disperse the amount to anyone. My kindly, because that order is already passed to disperse the amount in his favor. Anyway, that stayed by honorable. We will request Landed AGP to take care of that. To instruct collector. If my lord may just have for a minute, it cannot be denied that there is a fact. My lord admitted that when the notice was issued, an interim relief was granted in the favor of the applicant herein. This is Shah's client, my lord. I believe that even Mr. Marshall's clients would be required to be heard, considering that it is. The issue of who is to be paid the amount, my lord. Correct. So, my lord may appropriately on Tuesday with instructions, my lord. I yes. All right. We would. Only thing is, collector no, will not disperse the amount that is required to be. We, we 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 do understand. On that day, I mean, if today, since we are deciding it on on Tuesday, we'll say that nothing. Right now, the he has not dispersed. No, no, my lord, because of he has dispersed in my account, but he then reverse, my lord. But yes, there, no, no. yes, but today yes, my apprehension is that meanwhile, if it is, please wait. All of you can speak. Please wait, Mr. Marshall. We have understood your problem. Right now, the only issue is about as to what collector needs to do. He, he needs to do nothing. That's right. He needs that to just keep a status quo. That is yes, it. That may be observed. Yes. I am not and saying that it may be given to me. It may be given to him. But at least collector may not disperse to anyone. This money is required to be secured, my lord. If he said that it should not be given to me, 
No, no, today you, because my lord is there. Today or day after, you are not saying that then you join me as a party and then say that. No, so because I... Just I, so is what will happen is, sir, my application will keep lingering. And uh, this will not... Uh, this no, no, because I am entitled and I, I will pray because I will pray that I may give it disperse to me, Milord. And suppose, Milord, if meanwhile, if it disperse, then we not irreversible situation would arise. Relief, relief is there, but it is not there in subsequent order. All right, Mr. Shah, don't worry about it. We are saying that learned AGP on taking instructions has submitted to this court that so far the collector has not dispersed the amount in favor of either side. In wake of that, the intimation shall be given to the collector of fixing of both these applications on 21st so that equity may not change. Sir, I have not received a copy of these applications. All right, I give a copy. It. Give a copy to Mr. Marshall so that you know he can also deal with this issue. The main matter, my lords, I would be arguing that this contentions can be raised before the appropriate yeah, authority. Sir, authority. Is because no, 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 I will point out. I will point out. Yes, I will point out. Yes, yes, yes. That but they can but collect. He has one concern. You know, suddenly he come out. Otherwise, he has given Mr. Concern, Shah. You know? I mean, are we? Are we? Please. Sir, is this I what we are uh, expecting? Both the lawyers to why is one my learned friend is willing to be reasonable. I can be joined as a party. I am a most hundred percent necessary party because he wins. We we have uh, heard learned AG before that, and he's been he's saying that fine. Let him take instructions. We'll hear you on Tuesday and we'll listen. Sir. There's nothing to argue on the Tuesday. Let him take instructions as to why he's objecting. We, we, we have heard both the sides. And if he is apprehensive of this being given to you, then he needs to take instruction as to why is he objecting to this uh, civil application to be allowed. Anyway, on Tuesday, for that matter, for your stay, uh, not to be given or to be given, we'll decide on that. Day. In time so, exchange here. No, no, I will certainly, Milord. I will. So give, uh, give a copy give to him. I will give copy, but Milord, I will. Uh, uh, Lordship may hear me, Milord, on that day because why I am objecting. He is not necessary party so far as this petition is concerned. You skip back matters. Lord. Number one, Mr. Jamin Dewey, Mr. Priyank Loda. We went there to file restoration application, but because there is no provision for restoration, they did not accept. So we'll have to file an appeal. You'll have to file? Appeal. Or because tribunal is not available, I have, I'll have to approach this on the new court. Because tribunal is not available. So in that case, even if we just say that uh, subject to the outcome of, then it will be subject to the outcome of the petition that you are filing. Not just, it may not be. If I can just indicate. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say if I would not have applied for restoration as well. In that case, law contemplates that under section 62, a non-filers, a, a, a person who does not file return of income, best judgment assessment is required to be done. And they'll have to assess the tax which I was liable to pay. After assessing that liability, they would deduct that tax from the credit that is with me. And remaining amount, they are in any case liable to refund to me. So I am taking worst case against me where my registration is not there. We but have... the difficulty is that law doesn't contemplate the eventuality for refund of that amount. We have we have understood, grasped your issues. The only difficulty is that the decision of Bombay High Court or other decisions which you're seeking to rely on may not come to your rescue because there it was a case where possibly they're not wanting to do the business any further. Correct. Here you are wanting to do your business the credit which is lying, you need to utilize. Not that they know they are not wanting to 
make you utilize that. But they say that unless registration is restored, because your registration has been cancelled, it cannot be permitted. Now you are stuck at the stage, you not preferred the delay condonation, appeal is rejected. The Tran one, the appellate court could not have done and therefore we, we were inclined to say that all right, subject to the appellate court allowing the appeal, Tran one should be permitted by GSTN. But now you say that you cannot be or you would not be in a position to go before the appellate court because of the issue, they have not accepted it. Correct. Uh, at the initial stage, uh, if you have forgotten and if they say that we are not in a position to take it uh, because of this technical. technical hitch or a statutory hitch, you will need to come before this court. So at this stage, are we to say that subject to this court allowing you the filing of the appeal and the appellate court, no. I mean, the, we can at the best say that subject to the registration, the revocation of this order of uh, or alternatively, if I can just submit before your lordships, if I can be permitted to provisionally uh, operate my GST uh, portal only for the purpose of uploading transfer. For which we'll because need to look into the merit of the matter, which we may not be wanting to do. Because that uh, let the, that's prerogative of the appellate forum. Honorable Bombay High Court has also uh, followed that path where I, uh, the petitioner therein was provisionally permitted to register so that he can upload the transfer and claim the... That was because the business, no further business was to be done. Correct. Here you want to do further business. Correct. So in that case, they'll, they'll have to provisionally assess me. And in any case, I am not claiming that refund today. I am just wanting to file trans one so that as and when I'm registered again, I can at least take advantage of that credit that is lying. Mr. Kathiria, the if somebody has forgotten to uh, move an application at the relevant point of time when the appeal was preferred and it comes to the notice of that this had been forgotten, the review is not permissible. They will have to come before this court essentially. And it, it is not as if my input tax credit is not assessed. In their own assessment order, they say that I'm entitled to refund of 2.34. Mm -hmm. If you're likely to come before this court, this court is in any case can always direct the GSTN to be done. In that eventuality, I mean, this, this petition May not be, we may not be needed to even say about the GST and uh, to allow you to operate once your registration, which has been cancelled, is revoked. No, as far as operation of GST and is co concerned, yes. But as far as uploading of trans one is concerned, this is the only remedy. Because in that petition... No, no, we are not saying no to yes. that. It is just that we are thinking that now, since you need to come to this court itself, you will not be in a position to, as you said, that your counterpart has told you that you're not being permitted that. Please, Lord, alternatively, what I may suggest is that uh, this may be kept next week. I'll move the petition with respect to restoration of registration as well. All right. Please do. Both can be heard together so that Fine. there can be a solution to this. Right. 6196 of 20. The hearing has been concluded. However, in wake of the intimation received by the learned advocate, Mr. Jamin Dave, that the appellate authority has not entertained his request for once again entertaining application for condonation of delay and filing of the appeal. 
he may need to approach this court he requires time to complete that part of procedurality before this court decides anything matter to be posted on 22nd great immense love may have been invited to many events when i covered we needed to decide because we thought that since somebody you know mr rahul is on leave somebody should come to this court We keeping it on twenty second for order. Hmm? My, 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 may I have liberty to mention? I am requesting for serial number twenty six, Lord Sir. Here, this matter was notified day before yesterday, challenging the virus of land grabbing act. My learned LGP was asked to take instruction in the matter, Lord Sir. Hmm. Yes, it, was, it can be kept on Monday. 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 Please, Lord. What is the urgency? This is the matter of cross empowerment at the SGST and CGST. So I understand the possibility. Yes. What has happened in that? we passed a detail order while issuing the notice have you seen that i have received it's a 868 we'll keep uh, just file the reply uh, hmm? in the meantime just see that uh, if if you since you're seeking a time to file the reply nothing uh, for the moves you know on that side it's just a, now, what is happening? Okay. Even EMI options also. From this to this one, we have to pay this. this, one, this one, we have to Tell your offices that you are referring. No, no, it doesn't matter. You take your time to file your reply. But let, I mean, uh, insistence for any EMI or not be there on the part of your offices. Also, Inform your offices. Even after this, yes, say it there. Yes, please wait. They have taken the position that they are attached to my bank statement, everything no. that, that matters. I, 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 I put on the report on the 3rd of March, this matters have been kept. I put that on record. That's the only issue. Even after this, my lady's order, they have kept the doorstep step against me. I have verified that one. And uh, uh, my, uh, my yesterday, my London friend produced that. I have called upon her officer and informed her after passing the order by this order was put. Whether any proceeding has been carried out under section 83 for recovery or any attachment. So I have verified that document and it is perused uh, that it is prior to the order passed by this order. I'll put them on record. That's not an issue. Right. Just tell him, tell your officers, court when he's examining, they should not be in a hurry. And this is him. So just tell them. No, no, but then he is saying that he is going to intimate the officers. Don't worry about it. And it is in the open court when uh, the learned DGP is saying, with all sense of responsibility, he'll be telling the court. So do not worry if anything that happens, you'll be permitted to come. We're fixing the matter on the third. All other matters are kept. All fine. This also will be kept on the third. And in the meantime, if there is any harassment, you'll be permitted to approach this court. And you can also tell uh, Mr. Kathiria, please ensure that uh, nothing is going on. Special CA 868 of 2023. 
this is no we are hearing in which matter uh, 2758 insistence on the part of the learned uh, advocate is to pass the order as has been done in case of sca 868 of 2023 learned uh, agp mr kathiria submits that uh, the affidavit in reply is likely to be filed soon in in the uh, in 868 of 2023 he therefore has uh, urged that for present let there not be any interim uh, relief of any kind he shall be intimating the officer concerned so that nothing no so that nothing occurs if happens till this court makes it returnable on third May I make a request? There is one matter of arbitration. It was supposed to be listed, but it is not listed. Therefore, my not some date will be given. Arbitration matter. Next week it can be given. I am seeking. I am seeking an urgent circulation of one special civil application. I had filed it on 15, but no office objection are there, Lordship. If any of that, I will undertake that. I will submit. Permitted on Monday or Tuesday, Lordship. Please, ma'am. Because they are cutting what? the animals in the public, public premise. Public premise? The, 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 the house of business. They are cutting the animals. They are not a person. It's part of the acts of the uh, collector. The, the no, no, but how could it. yesterday only we are we hearing the matter? They are not even permitting it. How could that be? The, 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 All right. Permitted on Monday. Okay. Monday. I can just give in advance to the learned uh, HGP. Just check. I mean, even without the course direction, just check. How could that happen? Plus 30 and... Is it, is it Ahmedabad? No, no. Though the collector has been already given direction. Yes. What is it? Yeah, uh, I am requesting for a certification for immediately. For? The main matter is listed today at serial number 13. So whenever the main matter is listed, it may be listed on the same day. Anyway, we'll just see about it. The, let it be. If the next week we can, otherwise in the week thereafter. Hmm. This is a fresh matter. May it for next week. If there is no urgency, the week thereafter, otherwise next week. Yeah, huh? Next week. So, Great for you. Education, you can continue, but let there not be any pressure to the parties. You know our court's decision. It's been so clear that it is. All right, but then if you want, uh, tell him to put his hands off till third. Is your officers would listen? If with the consent of both the sides, it permits. We do not mind this in there. We we cannot in that case uh, right now. You know, just let it be. Sir. In relation to Ashima, we have received an affidavit from Enka, where they have now taken up a position that considering various issues, they would like to put on hold our applications. To that, we have made a representation to them. 
But that, if you're not sure, would just like to see about their response is on page 646. <clears throat> After having granted approval, 646, it is part of the last affidavit dated. I'll just give a option. Thirtieth January twenty-three. My Lord's God. To so that yes. they were next a resolution passed by them on page six forty-six. Yes. Resolved that the following application received for discharge of their affluence in mega pipeline be kept in abeyance until the time desilting, etc., etc., where my name figures at item two. But then thereafter, we have given one more representation to them with a copy mark to GPCB and others, which your lordship would find is by affidavit of 2nd February. My representation is on page 650. So the only thing that I request today is let them look into it and then they can come back. So even if they informally agree, even formal order may not be necessary. Counsel from MK is here. They can examine and come back to the Honorable Court. Yes, sir, but instructions are that all applications, new applications be kept in abeyance till the process of defilting is completed. We already issued tenders. The defilting process will start on the 1st of March, be completed by mid April. Let all applications be kept in abeyance. We'll be able to realistically take a view of whether capacity, how much capacity is available. So, in my affidavit, we put on record the defilting process. Even we are on the uh, process of removing illegal connections also, which we also may have some impact if illegal connections are also removed. So the instructions are that let like, applications be kept in abeyance. You representing MK, right? Representing MK. No issue. I'm not joining issue there, nor am I compelling them to accept my application at this stage. I'm only requesting I have given some kind of representation to them on 1st February. They may examine and come back to a lordship or not immediately, even if they take two weeks, I have no issue. So so far as I'm concerned, today I don't request any further order. All right. And we, not, we note that. I mean, next Friday I am not available. available. So even if a lot just keep the no, matter. But then it's right now. We'll see about the other's Correct. urgency. But uh, not, so far as you are concerned, you do not mind. I mean, you want them to take a call. Correct. I, I want them to take a call. And irrespective of the group being kept next Friday or otherwise, so far as my matter is concerned, because I'm not here. That may not be taken up next Friday. Right. That's the only request. Beyond that, I don't think at this stage I need to say anything. Okay. But there's a CA number 4 of 22 that we had filed, which is also on the board today, which probably was under an apprehension that they would cut off domestic sewage drainage connection. But I so far they have not done it. We have moved an application a year back. So if my friend Mr. Singh Assure the honorable court that they have nothing of this sort in mind. Lord, she can dispose it off, or Lord, she can keep it whichever way Lord, she would like to do. Because now, in any case, in the alternate basis, who's, we are going, who's going to Mr. Birk is going to take a uh, but we apprehended they would disconnect even domestic sewerage, but that has not happened. And now, in fact, we have ZLD, so we are going to start, or we would have started manufacturing also with the help of ZLD. So, question of Cutting of domestic sewerage in any case would not arise. So if my friend assures that matter can be disposed of. So this is for our interest, um, uh, Mr. Suparkar, this ZLD where you have taken an initiative and you're saying that you're going to do it. The other day, your say was that it is since coming out to be very expensive, very you will need to join it. What percentage of expenses, uh, you know, if you, if you do this, um, have you figured it out as to, is it, so astronomical that it is not. Uh, uh, please see, Arvind has also applied for connection into the mega pipeline. Mm. I, when I applied to the Honorable Court in this application, I had not started ZLD. I was taking up a position. It is just not possible. Year has passed. My company is closed. I can't remain to afford to remain closed for all times to come. 
so i have started znt but arvin started a year back even after having started pc mark page 646 of the other method main matter the two units of arvin first and last arvin limited and ankur textile hmm. even they after having established zld they want to come back because it's very expensive i give you a short answer i do not have often i will give the information to the honorable court if i can maybe in five minutes. it's a very very high operating cost capital cost may not be very high you operating can put up a system maybe it may be around 7 8 10 crore but to operate it is going to be very expensive but i am told that capital cost is 30 crore which may not be hugely expensive but then if you have to operate and if if it requires too much of expense to running it that's a creating problem this is the solar energy and all other alternative energies whenever they came initially if you look at it you know that uh, it used to be so so very uh, difficult for the people to even install it to get it and even expensive but then eventually the technological advancements have made it quite possible to so therefore we just trying to see that if we are in india of course we have the magnitude is completely different but if we are trying to find out this issue ensure that some countries might have also made some kind of r and d whereby you know they can also we obviously my lord would have explored all possible commercial avenues and mm -hmm. surely if it was feasible we would have certainly gone for in expense with a learned uh, you know uh, as you would have any idea on that aspect because they are dealing right. day in and day out on the pollution part of it so as i understand maintaining environment my lord is a costly affair look no, at no, us it's fine it's yeah fine. we that there you right there can't be any comparison true, at all true, true. but it is just we trying to understand that as to how absolutely expensive it is because the other day mr sparker said yes we have we have we are going for it but then we cannot do it and therefore we want to come here you know so therefore we were wondering as to why is it so and whether I there may, is some alternative I, way in I which you inquire millers with regard to alternates available as also millers what in fact turns out to be the actual cost so it could depend millers uh, from industry to industry but millers as the honorable court rightly put it <clears throat> that anything that is new today would really seem very costly today millers uh, it is a commercial interest where the cost is a factor millers on other fronts probably since it is domestic <clears throat> we deal with it and fall in line rather than going by the cost aspect thereof but let me take a definite instructions with regard there because if they have already the on you know if you look at it in principle they have decided to go for zld true the only aspect is that they say the price then now uh, uh, you know as uh, mr sparker is saying that uh, the running cost is uh, coming out to be quite high so therefore we just we were wondering that this entire exercise of mega pipeline everything is only on account of the fact that zld for every industry may not be the solution and that even may not the be the smaller units have zld i have instructions to say this even the smaller units also have then how, no, then why do they for arvin nobody has zld okay. nobody has zld my instructions are that in dhani limra behrapura there are some small industries that are successfully operating on that Because they can't cry aloud like my learned friends, clients, you know, who can come because the cost implication probably ends up eating their margin or I don't know commercial interest. But you know, that can never be, uh, you know, a, a a situation which can, which really would be more than the environment is all that we are doing. Complete agreement with that. Correct. It is just that for our comprehension I would, that I that we, we were wondering because then. why are we investing so much of time I on this uh, you know to be joined if zld is a solution and as mr burke is saying that some of the small yeah. units are also are operating as i said millers i also have instructions that even smaller units have gone for zld since their units are smaller the operative cost probably would be uh, not in this exorbitant number as probably what the applicant industry is facing but nonetheless if we see the proportion It may turn out to be almost the same if the smaller person is just bearing it. Why can't they? So I'll come with that data as to what is the actual cost, uh, how many people have installed, how it is successfully running, and at what operating cost. It, it, that I will come up with. No issue. Otherwise, maintaining 
environment is a costly affair and all of us are investing our time lots only in that direction no, no i am not suggesting that it is expensive therefore kindly dispense with that no, argument no. already stands rejected therefore i am not revisiting that issue i am only trying to say we, no no on your part you are not revisiting on our part we are trying to understand it Correct. holistically Correct. because we you we in fact admire that you have initiated and you're saying we are, you're going completely for that but when you're saying that it is a coast which is coming in your way we are trying to understand why is it the coast coming in your way but, so uh, arvin i am told in the joint meeting has already expressed its desire to move back if it is possible because of exorbitant cost and that is the reason why in this application it is also moved moved an application no, see, whether, means, whether they will whether we will get the permission or not is a separate issue for the time being i have only said i have made some representation it can be examined and on the query of your lordships we'll have an answer next time otherwise arvin wanting to go back full amount to not giving all orders of the honorable appeals court as also of this honorable court i don't know how a, a parallel can be drawn thanks for the advice sir so last time you were asked to file an affidavit to be filed basically first of all to declare our stand as far as the application of Could you please use the mic so which we have very clearly now said that it has to be kept in abeyance still we undertake desilting till we undertake desilting and we also remove illegal connections now we have started the process of removing illegal connection i think we have up till now detected about 8 to 10 illegal connections which have been disconnected with the help of corporation so we are working in tandem as far as desilting is concerned we have already issued a tender process started the tender process we have invited invited bids by the end of this month we would have identified the agency we'll start the work and by the end of march the entire desilting process of the pipeline would have been completed so milo uh, taking clue from the uh, what transpired on the last occasion we have already started the process so i would request the honorable court for some 3 or 4 weeks time such, such that we can report back on the progress which we are doing on that front so till then all applications are to be kept, kept in abeyance my friend can it can be kept alive but because we are not saying anything one way or the other we will know only after all this but the only prayer on my part was it will be kept in abeyance but they may also examine my representation they may take an independence sir we are going to place everything on Correct. record here Correct. and let the honorable court consider because we are we have now understood that our role is Correct. limited to maintaining the pipeline and that is what we are doing the rest of the decisions will have to be taken in consultation with corporation gpcb by this honorable court whether to permit or not to permit as far as uh, our understanding goes uh, uh, mcar was never against uh, that was our our stand from very beginning correct so you were not against you were saying that all right if you want to come you can come so right. then now you're saying that subject to the correct so when all this has been pointed out and we also realize mm. that we must first of all undertake this <laughs> thing we must clean up the entire pipeline and then see where we stand the illegal connections are a major problem because the effort which goes into because we have some photographs because this removing this illegal connections is just for your lordship's consideration but that is one set so i have another set but these are the emails the court may skip the email but just have a look at the pictures just to show me you know, how this how difficult it is to detect and how difficult it is to remove and they uh, we have to use this heavy equipment for the purpose of so uh, just to show that we have started the work you know, and that it is a difficult task and we are continuously in correspondence with corporation gpcb etc so we will we'll place it along with an appropriate affidavit once 
you need to dig it and then you find out you need to dig it so how how they must have done it sir they there is a process by which they just insert it un, under the ground without digging so it without started, digging how yes, could that be possible it is push and some method where they have the equipment by which they can push the pipeline under the ground and connect it to the mega pipeline so because it's it's not an open operation at all this <laughs> with the technology advancing this is what they do and this this connections are are beneath the the uh, the, the what flows through the pipeline yes, so so it's very difficult to identify that. all right so the corporation is uh, here helping you yes yes we are as of now we are working together what about 4 of uh, 2022 okay. डोमेस्टिक अहमदाबाद we have not disconnected because it was purely for domestic trade the other connections were linked to our domestic trade but discharging industries my respectful submission is for for the time being for one occasion it can be kept pending so that by next date we can apprise the honorable court as to what we are finally desire of doing but we have not disconnected gpcb has to also respond because the court had directed on the last occasion so let your stand also be made clear as to what you propose to do in this this person yes we do this to give up this person before we actually uh, tell even the uh, mk to consider it uh, uh, so just as uh, nanavati has uh, also this report from indian express and this is a central pollution control board's report tabled by union ministry you must be aware of yes, it i am aware mr for jal shakti which is listed in and they said that ahmedabad sabarmati is the second most polluted river in the country yes confirmed uh, and they said that this is a is an interesting stretch of river is from raisan in gandhinagar to wauta downstream on the border of dholka block of ahmedabad the second most polluted in after a stretch of kom river in tamil nadu yes sir 
and uh, uh, you know, so this i am simply going by the news item that uh, the honorable uh, court came across uh, uh, when upon a uh, uh, little inquiry minutes i was told that a detailed study is carried out probably it is to be tabled before the house but uh, no certain instructions on that behalf since i couldn't get through so for as central pollution control board authorities are concerned because they are not technically a party here but nonetheless i am gathering instructions from them as well with regard to the actual status of this study so that if it can be brought on record the honorable court can take that into consideration since it is in furtherance of the objective precisely. the honorable court has taken precisely so i am conscious of it mr sir necessary correspondence has already begun i have started gathering the moment it is available i even on behalf of gpcb would want to place that on record that to study report gachu bhai thank you bitto It's just one one copy, but then show it to them so that you know. Uh, the report which has been produced by CPCB that was also forwarded to me. And we see the readings were prior to the PIL initiation of the PIL. So obviously, much water has flown thereafter. So now we are obviously taking steps to rectify. Is this the, report already on record? No, no, this is not on record. In fact, I have the report also which has been. tabled before the assembly also so i i'll be placing that on record this is before the parliament possibly parliament correct so we at least should have two measures to compare uh, amongst each other post uh, pil and pre pil yes so that would uh, help us uh, because this is exactly what has prompted this court to even take up this pil that this it, is a long drawn thing is, it is not for our generation it's for the future generation and even for the farmers who are using this water downstream you written it off saying that this generation will not be benefited impossible no no <laughs> it would be practically impossible yeah, this generation i would not associate myself <laughs> with him millers on this pessimism for sure it's a long drawn thing because even then uh, as i was speaking to mr prajapati also so they in the, even in the ganga also where they have spent crores of rupees We are saying that what you all are achieving right now, even we have not achieved. So I was just speaking. We, we didn't understand the cleaning up process that we have undertaken. Like you know, now we have started targeting that. Okay, A, B, C. So we are giving priority accordingly. So right now, mega pipeline is uh, cleaning up its act. So why are you sounding so pessimistic in that case? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a slow drawing. It's a slow it's a slow process. drawing. But, but at but the same time, why should I mean that let people have damage, some hope? The damage that has been caused, it won't it's get it's rectified it's overnight. Or even like you know, five years, ten years, it will take a long time. Yes, during the times of Corona worldwide, we have seen how nature cures itself. So these are steps which would matter to us as a present generation, and I'm sure we would get benefits of all the efforts that this honorable court is putting in. So he need not be this pessimist. <laughs> But he at the same it. time, the ground reality is different. So I'm giving the view of the ground reality. Well, Lordship wanted rough and ready figure of what could be the incremental cost. I got rough and ready figure. It will increase the processing cost by about twenty percent. Twenty percent. And as the margin is obviously not twenty percent, it will convert profitable company into a loss making company. I am not therefore trying to justify. Therefore, permit me. I am just answering your logical query so that my learned friend did not assume that I am therefore trying to claim that therefore permit me. <coughs> I am just giving the information wrong that the honourable court required me. Twenty percent of the capital. Twenty percent of the processing cost will go up by twenty percent, which is the running cost. Twenty percent of the running cost, processing cost. So the the capital cost may not be much. Capital according cost to. is around thirty crore. Right? That's what I'm. But over and above is thirty crore. Makes sense. when you saying the margin is not so much yes, so is to cover this 20% correct so you talking about the 20% of the total correct correct or if let's say my cost is 100 and i am selling at 110 and now it become 120 as against profit of rupees 10 i'll end up making loss of 10 i hope i'm clear this is where the whole problem is 
alert. But I am told that the capacity with which at which I have employed ZLD, my plant, is around rupees 15 crore. One five. One five. One five. Because it, it will depend upon the size and the requirement. My plant is around rupees 15 crore. That is what installations are. Which in any case I have installed. So I am not. But now operating cost is what is going to be a problem for which I need to address the problem either within internally or with the authorities to see how best we can reach a solution which is mutually satisfying. You can also employ some charter accountants who can give good Correct. advice to them. Correct. Miscellaneous civil applications, 8 of 22 in writ petition and 98 of 2021. We have got the learned uh, advocate, learned senior advocate, Mr. Suparkar, brought to our notice. The certified true copy of this resolution passed by the Board of Directors of Ahmedabad Mega Clean Association on 28th January 2023. According to him, the applications received for discharge of the effluent in mega pipeline is kept in abeyance until the time the silting of mega pipeline is completed by Ahmedabad Mega Clean Association MK for short. The application has been moved on February 1st, 2023, addressed to the board of directors Ahmedabad to MK seeking permission for Ashima for allowing discharge of the trade affluent in mega pipeline. For present, since it is under consideration, he desires no order from the court. However, the request on the part of and senior educators for MK2 examine the application and decide it in accordance with the policy. Leonard, uh, senior advocate, Mr. Sanjanwala, representing MCA with Leonard advocate, Mr. Naya Shah, has uh, strenuously submitted that desilting is already initiated and the photographs to that effect also are produced on record. The illegal connections within three to four weeks are to be removed. And this process will continue for about? End of March. End of end of March 2023. Till then, all applications are kept in abeyance. The report also should be placed on the record. His insistence is to open all the cards before the court and thereafter the court to take the call in this respect. Having realized that their essential task is for maintaining the pipeline. This exercise is going on in tandem with the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation. As time of about three to four weeks is required by the MCA for completing this exercise. No further. 
direction in this regard at this stage is being found necessary at the same time we deemed it appropriate to hear learned councils on the cost of operating the ZLD and roughly it has been and it has been pointed out by the learned senior council that the roughly processing cost will come to about 20% on a regular basis. The capital cost presently for Ashima would be around 15 crores. The profit margin according to this just leave it at that stage. Let the entire report, once this uh, process of desilting initiated by the MK is over, <laughs> be placed before this court. The 6th February report of the Indian Express of uh, the Central Pollution Control Board report having been tabled by the Union of India, Jala Shakti. The learned senior standing council for the GPCB has ensured to place on record. You would be placing it, you have called for it, right? Let the same be done on the next date. The status about uh, the illegal domestic connections found in mega line manhole are taken on record. Matter shall be now posted. We keep it after four weeks in that case. You can table it this and uh, as about this four of 22, we're passing a separate order from submissions made by Mr. Birk. So for present, nothing is to be done in this. Do we dispose it of in that case? But if I friend is sure that this is going to happen, Lord Chicken, certainly dispose it of. We want to keep it alive. We are not in a hurry to dispose of. But if this therefore, is... I request it. Let it be a kept pending for at least one occasion. All right. Because if nothing has happened, maybe I will be in a position to definitely, definitively aid the court. That... Civil application four of twenty-two. For now. Um, there is no, if there is no need for anything to be done, we do not even touch this. Please, please. Are you apprehensive of anything? No, not no. We have not done anything. No, that is fine. But then today, since Mr. Suparkar has made a request for this, I mean, if, if there is... It was on the board. I just wanted it to be disposed of. If it is possible for my friend to agree. If please he... have it for one more occasion because I just want to verify what is the exact status as on date. At the relevant point in time, the apprehension was this line also carried some discharge. That's the only thing. You can say uh, 4 of 2022, this court. Lastly, on uh, 25th March 2022, by following order, had also directed the MC and the GPCB to respond to this on the next date of hearing which was on 8th April 22. We noticed that uh, no response has come. Learned uh, advocate Mr. Virk, representing the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation, requires to take instructions. He ensures, not he ensures, but he confirms that nothing has been done in relation to the domestic sewage drainage connection. 
so far. There is no immediate threat for its disconnection and he would like to take more instructions in this regard and therefore has made a request for adjournment of about three weeks. About three weeks. All right. Let the matter be posted. Today we are on to uh, 17th. We keep it on the 10th of March. So by then, I think some... Do you think that you will be making a progress, Ms. Shah? So the process of will start only in the first week of March. And then we'll be starting it first week. But anyway, let this uh, uh, rest of the things from Mr. Burke and from GPCB also, some report is to come. We keep it on the 10th March. Very true. You can also let, as we will say, that uh, the progress, we can say that uh, instead of in, in earlier one, instead of simply the report to be tabled or to be placed before this court, you can say the, the progress of uh, this process of desilting as well as the final report be placed before this court. So, yeah. Mr. Chani's application can also go along because ultimately their fate would depend on the follow-up that we give here. So I'm sure he has no objection. You will take a uh, please, Peter. This is forgot. So, uh, so civil application for joining these parties? No, my lord, they have considered the joining aspects, my lord. It is the application, my lord, which seeks, my lord, the similar relief, my lord, in a different context with respect to other powers. All right. Other so this can also go on the 9th. Let it go on the on 10th itself. 9 of 2022 also. To be listed on the 10th of March along with other applications. There's no urgency for the relief as there such. There is urgency, but I... Lord, uh, would not like to venture into my lot where others are already trained in the All right. Instead of 10th, may I request for the 17th? Uh, 17 17 could be fine. 17, just yes. let all applications. You made some uh, application? Please, my lord. So, uh, there was an order to return the agreement back to me. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I approached the registrar. Mm -hmm. uh, but on personal verification, it was found that the original agreement is not there, my lord. Original agreement is not there? No, my lord. Sir. Why? Uh, it is not there on the record of the court, my lord. So, where is it? The registrar has also verified it through the staff and mm -hmm. with the permission of the registrar, I have gone through the record of both the uh, both the sets I have gone through also. But somehow it is not there, my lord. Therefore, and I requested that if the agreement is not there, at least the passport may be returned back. For passport, they have given a report. They are saying that the passport has not come to the house. Not that passport. That, that has already went mm -hmm. back. They've the gone, fresh passport. Gone gone back. Back. husband is having that. I have received this. The lady she yes. has? Her husband has received the passport. Oh, husband has received it. The expired passport. So where is the expired passport? No, husband? New passports, renewed mm. passports. The husband has received. Yes, please. And the children are with her husband, husband right? Husband. 
So he has got it. So now there's that is not an issue. Yeah, so why do you need the old passports? No, is with the learned registrar right. in a sealed cover. All right, but then why do you need them? Not that he needs to retain it, but I'm mean, just curious to know. No, so that the, since it was in my custody and by the order of the court, I have to return it back to the uh, to the learned registrar judicial. And since it is with the order of the court, since the matter is disposed of, and therefore it can be written back to me, my lords. And the original agreement, which was taken to compare with the photocopy, that may also be written back to me. All right. Only my anxiety is, it may happen that the passport is in a sealed cover that is not open. It may happen that by opening the sealed cover, the sealed cover may also bear the agreement also. Because it is not found anywhere on the record of the, both the files. Correct. But the passport is in the sealed cover? Passport is in the sealed cover that is not open. All right. You can just check. Call for it. By the time we complete hearing the other matter, you can just call for that and can open it, you know. So, fine, please wait. So now nothing remains except nothing that remains. you want the original agreement. Nothing we remains. put an end to the matter. And if at all the agreement is not there, somehow it is not there. Mm -hmm. In that also something can be worked out. Photocopy is already there. Mm -hmm. We have not received any, uh, we have not received a Xerox copy of uh, the agreement. Well, the, if it is, it is a part of the record, where you say the original has to go to the registered judicial? Please. But the signed copy is already there on record, mm. which was directed to be compared by the learned registrar judicial with the original and the photocopy. Mm. My request is that if the original document is not there, the certified copy of the original can be returned back and the issue can come to an end. Where is it? Where, uh, where, where we have said that they, it should be with the registrar judicial. Signed copy is there. Yeah, you remember the order date? Uh, 2110 is the order date. Mm -hmm. 21 10 22 was the order date. Mm -hmm. The document which has been signed by her and notarized before the barrister and solicitor of High Court of New Zealand is brought on the record. This has not been signed by the applicant here, you know, and according to Lana, the same has not been the, the same shall be done before the notary public. Email sent to the original. Person. Okay. Please get it from the register judicial and we will put an end. Highly so, Please. In my MCA, one of 21 in. MCA 496 of 19. Further affidavit approaches to the AGP's government's last affidavit, wherein they have taken stand that we have done fixation as per 7th pay NPPA. I have annexed the documents of livestock inspectors mm -hmm. that fixation is done, but there is no addition as per 7th pay revision of pay rules. NPPA is continued to be paid without any addition. Otherwise, had there been a revised NPP as per 7th pay, then there would have been increase in the amount. That's what I have annexed the pay slips of livestock inspectors. I have calculated, uh, placed on record the calculation last page, the difference that if there had been 7th pay addition, this would be the X amount. However, they are paying X minus Y as per 6th pay uh, revised rates NPP is paid. So it's like only on paper they are giving 7th pay and PP. Otherwise, it's not as per revised wages of 7th pay wages. Lordship. Has there been just now, a few minutes back, solved with this uh, affidavit? And so, Maroz had specifically directed us that one page affidavit should only be filed and not more than that. Means this is, and even my other learned friend has also Maroz served me a copy just a few uh, minutes back, Maroz in the recess. So as this is nothing but re-agitating and reiterating the entire thing which has been Maruz, argued at length by uh, all the sides Maruz, before my lords. As I have tried to project Maruz, at present, Maruz, my lords are called upon to Maruz, uh, decide as to whether there is any willful disobedience on the part of the authorities or not. The directions of the Honorable Division Bench were to Maruz, accord the benefit of 6th as well as the 7th pay commission benefits. Maruz, it has been argued at length as to how Maruz, the proceedings have transpired, the directions of the learned single judge were 
in the majority cases to the extent of six pay commission they had not approached this honorable court by way of letters patent appeal and one of the matters two of the matters bared facts of sixth as well as seventh and the prayers of sixth as well as seventh parents and the operative portion of the letters patent appeal judgment read sixth as well as seventh is that is how marus the entire matters have been now marus argued to a great exhaustive length marus last the honorable court had directed us to marus file an affidavit of the secretary marus i i apologize the uh, head of the department of the animal husbandry would be the director marus uh, there is mistake on my part in stating that instead of marus director the secretary uh, is mentioned in the order marus therefore i have filed the affidavit of the director animal husbandry indicating that according to us there is a compliance as per the directions issued by this honorable court now if at all that compliance was according to them if at all x y z benefits are not given was they form a separate cause of action means it can't be a part of adjudication in these contempt proceedings it was each and every time new affidavits are being given and was reagitation is being done about some new benefits or some other benefits Which, in my respectful submission, Maruz, it stretches the matter, Maruz, beyond the scope. So, in case of those where they had requested for six and seventh pay commission combined, please, there you are given already. Please, Maruz, according to us, Maruz. So, in those two petitions, you are given. Maruz, according to us, Maruz, that is what I had taken the honourable court to the last affidavit also. Hmm. Maruz, as for the uh, six, Maruz, the uh, pay revision rules, Maruz, which were applicable. Mm. Was at that time there were conditions imposed on the authorities that the seventh pay commission benefits are to be accorded in accordance with the sixth pay commission. Accordingly, Maruz, we have calculated and we have given them the benefits as per the sixth pay commission, as far as the se seventh pay commission benefits are concerned. Because there were the entire Maruz pay revision of pay rules itself stipulated that until and unless the further directions are not given, you have to calculate as per the sixth pay commission benefits. Marus, thereafter, we have also carried out the fixation. Marus, in the last affidavit, also I had indicated that as per the seventh pay, we have made their fixation. Marus, I had tried to demonstrate that it is an e-generated entire portal. On the portal, Marus, it's reflected that the. Ours is a simple question. Please. You say that your serious objection we could notice is for those matters where they, in fact, in the prayers, it's called for six com commission. Please. This court, since combined those matters, and passed a common judgment, Please. where sixth and seventh pay commissions both had already been part of it. Please. The question that arises is as to whether even those of them who never asked for it can get it or not. Please. Right. Yes. But so far as those two petitions, which you agree, where the sixth and seventh pay commission both had been asked for, have you given or not? Miss, our say is that we have given, but the calculation that we have we have mm -hmm. made that is how I had demonstrated by way of earlier effort. I had show. I'll take the honourable court again to that affidavit. That as per the miss revision of pay rules, mm -hmm. miss the conditions which were imposed at the time of fixation at that point of time was that you have to accord benefits of the seventh pay commission as per the sixth pay commission till further instructions are passed on. Miss across all the cadres. This is how the fixation was made so far as seventh pay commission is concerned. So it is not that in the case of the petitioners herein that exception that is out. that is not a point. The point is that with what you have done for the rest of them is hardly a concern of the court. We are we are more concerned with those petitioners who have succeeded before this court, and in whose case you also believe that they have succeeded, and this court had said that they need to be given as per the seventh pay commission. Your revision of pay rules may say whatever. That is not a point here. Your revision of pay rules, even if deny, you know, to some of the officers or to it gives it to some, that's not a point. Whether those petitions have been given or not is a question. Yes, in my respect, and if they have not been given, they need to be given. Yes, Because then the question remains only for those who are not paid for, and whether that can that judgment can also apply to them or not. Yes, in my respect, full submission. That is, who are all the cadres? That is the review. These are the pay rules. That is, which mm -hmm. would be applicable whenever any fixation is to be done. 
about fifth pay commission, sixth pay commission, or seventh pay commission. Unanimously, Malas, these revision of pay rules are applicable, and it is not in the case of any particular A or B cadre that these rules are applied. So, therefore, today, if A post is to be given seventh pay commission, it is in accordance with that rules only. B post is to be given, it is in accordance with that rules only. So, there is no exception carved out, Malas. The all fixations, Malas, they are carried out as per these pay rules itself. So, according to the prevailing pay rules, which were prevalent, we have done the pay fixation at the relevant point of time. We have awarded the cost of petitions. We have given them the interest. And we're, the not, we're not saying about you didn't get it right possibly or we didn't put it uh, rightly. It is not about A, B or C or the class of people. We're saying about the implementation of the court's order. So, even if you have done it for everybody, for you said that the class, regardless of the class, we have been doing it for the revision of pay for everybody. So, the petitioners who were before this court, whether they have received it or not, is the only question. In simple yes or no, we are asking. According to me, Maluj, it is yes. It is yes. Please. So, those who asked for the 6th and 7th pay commission, Please. both, Please. and where you also agree that it was for the 6th and 7th pay commission, you have paid. Please. What it was needed to be Please, paid. Yes. The computation right. was as per the pay rules. All right. Please. Not as per the pay rules, as per the court's directions. Our our, our question is about the court's Please. directions. The directions of the Honorable Court. Kindly mm -hmm. see. If I was in a time, it's the directions. Page number 51, paragraph 30. The, as per the sixth and seventh pay commission, please pay under sixth pay commission and seventh pay commission. Please. The payment of non -pri private practicing allowance and PPA to the petition shall be restored, and the pay scale pension shall, shall be refixed. And paid the, the recovery of the amount towards NPP is cost and set aside. Any amount which is recovered from some of the petitions shall be refunded. Entire exercise of refixing the pay pension, payment of difference of such amount should be carried out. Please. So you are, as per what we have understood, is that the revision of pay rules permits you to give it only up to six pay commission. Because in the entire state, you've not given the seventh pay commission. So how do you say that in case of these petitions you've given? I, therefore, I was you know, taking the honorable court to be... See, you need to, you need to be clear, Ms. Patak. You must realize that your officers are facing contempt. You must also realize that there is a direction for some of the petitioners. So if you do not, in that case, uh, grant it to those to whom the court has already given, we may have to initiate the actions against them. Would my so far, and there where you point out to us about the six pay commission, where they never ask for the seventh pay commission, it is a debatable issue. There, you Both of you have made your submissions. We'll decide it. But so far as those of them in whose case, the two of the petitions where clearly the court has given the six as well as the seven pay commission, you simply cannot then say that our revision of pay rules, since do not prescribe it, we will not be giving it. That's not how it is. For a moment, if my may have the last affidavit which I had filed in mm -hmm. page number 261. Page? Page? 261. In uh, MCA 440. 2019. 261? Please. Mm -hmm. There in the earlier part, I have tried to demonstrate as to how the direction. Where are you reading? Is. Which para? I, I'm, I'm in a moment. I'll uh, take the honorable court to the relevant paragraph. Paragraph 5 onwards, if the honorable court may have. 
While accepting the recreations in this one, somewhere in the middle, it is submitted that the directions have my words found. Mm -hmm. It is submitted that the directions with respect to the NTPS for the six day commissions are already accorded to the petitioners. The issue with respect to grant of the benefits of 15% NTPS as per the seven day commission is concerned. It is required to be brought to the notice of the Honorable Court that as far as the seventh day commission is concerned, the same was accepted by the state government with a government resolution dated 16 late 2016, issued by the state of Gujarat through the finance department. It is submitted that by way of the government resolution dated 16 late 2016, recommendations with respect to seventh day commission were given effect to by the state government for the salaries being paid to the government employees. Clause 3 of the government resolution provided for the computation of the basic pay in accordance with the 7th pay commission recommendations and clause 7 provided that all the government employees and the state of, of the state of Gujarat till further orders are not passed shall be entitled to the allowances except the dearness allowances which shall be calculated on the basis of pay computed in accordance with the 6th pay commission. A copy of the government resolution is annexed at annexure R1. It is submitted that therefore Whilst accepting the recommendation of the 7th Pay Commission, all the employees across the state of Gujarat were to be granted the benefits and emoluments in accordance with the 6th Pay Commission till the further orders as per the policy of the state government. It is by virtue of the government resolution dated 16 8 2000 the benefits to be accorded under the 7th Pay Commission are implemented throughout the state of Gujarat.
may i make a small request to your lordships Your affidavit has all along said that your seventh pay commission Please. is as per the civil services revision of pay rules 2016. Please. And you had uh, given this benefits as per the notification dated 19th August 2016, which makes it very clear that it is as per the sixth pay commission to be Please. given to everybody. So none of them has been given as per the seventh pay commission. Now, I may, yes, wait, very please serious wait. ask. Please, Lord, please wait. We'll I'm be sorry. hearing. Let her complete. Please, I may pose a question to myself. If at all I have to give the benefits of seventh pay commissioners, how do I give benefits? It's a simple question I may pose to myself as to if at all. Means as per the prevailing rules, means the revision of pay rules, the seventh pay commission benefits were to be given as per the directions, means according to the sixth pay commission benefits, means how do I means give in an individual case, means distinctly deviating from those revision of pay rules. Look, that that you ought to have argued before the apex court when you challenge this court's order. You have even failed to convince the apex court that this court had granted the seventh pay commission to only a handful of people. And it would have been unfair to the rest to not grant it. So right now, you must remember that it is not only this court's order, the division bench, it is a Supreme Court's direction as well. It is a different thing that you're trying to argue for those of the matters where the actual petition, the prayer is missing. Please. But for two of the petitions, you are very well aware and you yourself are agreeing yes. that there is a specific request and the prayer. Please. For both the sixth and, sixth and the seventh pay commission, yes. you have no scope of arguments there. No, I'm I'm just trying. So to therefore, no. The, and we have been repeatedly from day one. We are asking that have you implemented? Look at the way in which this affidavit has been filed, where you'd all the time coming back to that 16th August 2016 notification. You saying revision of pay rules. Why, That's why, not this, why this exercise of us producing these Maris, revision of payrolls? It was not Maris, any other attempt, but it was just an endeavor to show that they are they have not Maris, willfully disobeyed. It is their interpretation that Mr. according to Ms. Patak, even if your offices they do not understand, we would be expecting the learned AGP yes. to explain to them if they are bent upon making a breach of the court's order. We would not like to actually take them to, you know, any kind of this, but then 
you must realize that the entire affidavit which has been done is pointing out to only single fact that though there may be order of this court, though there may be order of the Supreme Court, we will go by the revision of pay rules. It is not, please. It is not. So, Maras, I, please I read. apologize if Maras, that message is being conveyed to the honorable no, but court. Please tell us that whether there is any other message we can, any other no, thing we can read not, into so, this. It is not. So, Maras, kindly, Maras, bear with me for two minutes, Maras. The only endeavor before this honorable court was to show the computation by virtue of which we could have given the seventh pay commission benefits. Otherwise, Maraj, they are required to comply with the directions of the honorable court and they can't shirk away with it. That aspect from the day one, Maraj, I'm stating that as far as two petitions are concerned, Maraj, I am in my limitations. I know my limitations. I can't argue beyond those Maraj, directions which have been... And it also gone for the review before the apex court. The apex court has not even entertained your review. So therefore, there is... there is. We lost on the count of Maraj, the aspect of delay. Otherwise, Maraj, we... Do understand. I go on then, that issue. Therefore, it's not agitating before this honorable court. All I am trying to canvas before this honorable court today is that the officers are not Maras, willfully, Maras, they have not willfully disobeyed the orders and directions passed by the honorable court. Our understanding to the effect was that as far as the prevailing revision of pay rules were concerned, Maras, we have computed and we have granted them the benefit. However, if the honorable court is Maras, not agreeable to those... Even your, you've been very uh, specific and rightly so. Whenever in the affidavit you said we have granted, we have granted, you said as per the notification, as per the revision of pay rules. Yes. And your revision of pay rules and your notification categorically says that it has to be given as per the six pay commission. Please, please, I have that it place. doesn't say that seven pay commission. Please, that revision, that GR and the center has given it right from, brother was saying that it is from 16th, right? 2016, the center has given. But Mara, so far as these posts are concerned, they were not given. The no, no, but so it is It is something which the state has this in the mind. The center has given it 2016-17. That was in the case of medical officers. No, as far maybe, as these, the, maybe. The, so what is, what is the hesitation? Look, would you like us to pass an order no, whereby sir, your officers have come, sir, you know, sir, they sir, are... Not, Mara, the, the only Mara's endeavor on the part of the authorities was to just Mara's, uh, Mara's highlight that... These are the interpretations according to us, Maras, as per the prevailing revision. If they understand it, calculate. make them a, their, their understanding, as you know, and as we know also, is not correct. If they say that this is the revision of pay rules and we are relying on the notification, which is of which is categorically saying that it has to be given as per the six pay commission. How do they come and say that we have given as per the seventh pay commission? They cannot. At that juncture, the directions as per the revision of pay rules was to give as per six pay. Therefore, and even the superiors, I had Maras also given an illustration that my superior would not be given seventh pay commission benefit. And how Ms. Patak, we are coming back to the same. You must realize that these are the candidates or these are the litigants who have succeeded before this court and also before the apex court. Please. So therefore, they need to be given. If your other officers, they sat on the fence. Sorry. No, no. Your other officers who did not approach this court or those of them, they sat on the fence thinking that whatever may be done, the, the Supreme Court, in fact, in so many matters, you know that in Kamlakshi and all those decisions, they've been saying that you don't need to drive every person to come to the court. Once it is done in case of some of them, and if there is in principle some decision has been taken, it has to be construed to have been taken for the rest also. But if you do not want to take that, and if you want to still say that we will do it, you know, as per our uh, this thing, fine, we're not wanting to enter into that arena. But for those uh, of those persons, particularly those petitions, there were prayers. I do so, get it. So. Therefore, was I'm in a limited. That I from the very beginning, I'm saying that was I'm in a very limited compass, limited arena. I can't argue beyond which. Was, uh, I I know I know I'm in a contempt. Was jurisdiction. I can't argue on merits. Today's affidavit. Can I point out what is falling from my lords? Kindly see her arguments. She is not even instructed properly or correctly today. I kindly have a glance at page 19 of my today. Let me David. point out. And my learned friend is real trying. truth, I may point out. Kindly have a glance at page 19. Friend. Kindly see page 19. I have brought pain sleep of the monthly salary of officers who have been granted revised NPP as per 7th pay revision. Kindly see page 19. Her arguments are also today also not on Correct uh, instructions. Page 19. Today's my affidavit. The wordings are affidavit on behalf of the applicants. 
in one of 21 in 496 of 19, 19. Kindly have a glance at page 19, 19 your lot six. The name is Eros because he was very much scared. Kindly see, this is the person of designation, assistant deputy director. This is the monthly salary slip of September 22. Or third column, bill date, sixth basic pay, so and so. Your lordships will find and on left hand side, NPPA, it shows NPPA 25% as per six pay, 7998. I think lordships are able to. Pain slip page 19. Just NPPA heading is NPPA 6 pay as per 6 pay 25%, 7998. Gross salary 145,000, bottom of the page. Could by lots. Now kindly turn to page 20. The same gentleman, assistant director, animal husbandry for December. They came out with the case that we have given label of seventh. We are not giving seventh. Now, same gentleman, basic pay, special pay, NPPA, 20%, seventh pay. It comes to 18,600. Previously, it was 7,998. And gross salary, 1,80,000, which was 145. Now, kindly have a glance at page 21. The named pay slip, it is in the name of Kindly see now, Assistant Director Animal Husbandry, page 21. The bill date is 1st October 22 on right hand side. Your lordships will find after bill number. And name of the employee is there with the designation Assistant Director of Animal Husbandry. Now my lords will find three columns like this. And on right hand side column, NPPA as on 1st October bill, it is stated 10,955 your lordships. Probably my lords are able to. Third box column top. It is 10,955. Again, kindly have a glance at on left hand side bottom column. Total gross amount 1,21,000. Of same department. Assistant director. So NPPA is as per six pay. 10,955, kindly have a glance at page 22. Again, same employee in December, month of December, bill date 1st January 23. Assistant director, again, right hand side, first column, NPA is increased 25,720. On right hand side column, third column, first line, NPPA 25,720. Again, on left hand side, bottom, last box. Total gross amount comes to 195 and previous was 121. So they have added revised NPPA as per 7th pay. Now my lords may kindly have a glance at page 23. Qual livestock inspectors, what do, do they argue that we have complied with the order? Page 23. This is a livestock inspector by named so and so. December 22. My lords will find December 22, again, NPPA column on first column on left side, 3807. Probably my lords are able to, on left hand side, the under head of pay and allowances, basic general pay, special pay and lordships will find NPPA 3807. That is for December. Then again, paying slip for September. <coughs> which was pre-revised, NPPA was 3807, same left-hand side. So they say that we revised. For livestock inspector, they say NPPA 3807 for December as well, for pre-revised 6 pay, September. And what would be the difference? We have calculated page 26, your lordships, of the one of the employee, M.M. Prajapati. Livestock inspector, lordships will find page 26, details, for those details, column number 5. Anyway. And NPPA 3144 as per 6 pay. And right. column number 12 remains the same. And revised NPPA 7000. Lord six. This is against her own arguments. Additional director is paid as per 7 pay revision. How can you compare a post of additional director? No, they, they say that inspector. we are paying as per 6 pay to all. It's not correct, your lordships. Now, there cannot be discrimination. It's not a question of discrimination. 
I may point out one point. In their affidavit dated 13th of January 23, they have stated on oath that they have complied with the orders passed by this honorable court on the basis of seven of the GR date 16th of August 2016. Now kindly see what this GR says. This is how they are misguiding the honorable court with all consciousness and making this statement. Honorable court may peruse page number 272 of GR. It read 16-8-2016, clause 7 on page 272. A pure petition? Of the affidavit filed by the state of the They said 13th of January 20th. The same petition which we were looking at. Here it is. May I read with your logic? Mm. Yes. Rajya Sarkarna Karmachary and Anya Ukamuna Taiti Asudi. Right? Clause 7. Mm. Rajya Sakala Kamatariune, Anya Ukamu North Haitia, Sudi Mogwari Batha. Ivaina Anya Batha. Now, even they, as of now, they don't understand it is not allowances, it is paid. In affidavit, they are projecting as a pay, but it is not for pay, it is for only allowances. And this is very serious on the part of the authority. It has been heard that NPP is a pay, it's a part of pay, even by the orders of the Supreme Court. In, in our judgment, it is heard that without allowances. Anything that needs to be seen? It would be reiteration of my friend's submission. They have been categorical in admitting that they have done it so far as NPP is concerned as per the six pay commission. If that be so, it is clearly contrary to the directions which says 15% on revised pay under 6 commission and 7 pay commission. And the example which they have given at page 274, uh, 77, crystal clear shows what they have actually done, which is contrary to the directions. Example given at page 277 with the last affidavit of 13 January. They are conscious that it is a part of the pay. Therefore, they consider it in the calculation of revised pay, kindly say, item number four, existing basic pay, 20,960. 15% of the NPPA on basic pay, 3144, rightly calculated. DA on NPPA at 125%, 3930, correctly calculated. Pay after multiplication by fitment factor of 2.57, trepan arso sarsat. Then they consider that part of revised pay, which is DA, DA on NPA 3930, sum of 7 and 8, 57, 7, 9, 9, 7, level 6, revised pay 8,600, what they are giving is something stated in item number 12, pre-revised NPA 3144. This is being given. And last column says revised pay, the Atavanchaso, Vatta, not revised NPPA, pre revised NPPA. This is what they are paying. Clear admission that this is what they have done is in consonance with their GR of 16th August 16th, clause 7, which says <coughs> that except nearness allowance. All other allowances shall be as per six pay commission, meaning thereby they consider this NPPA also as one of the allowances, which is clearly contrary to the judgment that NPPA is a part of the pay. It is to be included in the basic pay. Therefore, for the purpose of revised pay, NPPA is to be taken into account that they do it. But ultimately, what they aid by way of NPPA is the pre revised NPPA. Clear violation of the directions which have attained finality of the apex court. And I think unless your lordship passes an order under the contempt of court sec, uh, holding them guilty and imposing appropriate, it seems that they do not want to set right direction. This calculation is as per the uh, GR, the formula which is prescribed, which my learned friend was referring to at page number 277. Just about after that, if my may have at page number 278, because we have tried to demonstrate by way of chart as to how we have calculated the 
and we have carried out the fixation. If myeloids may have at page number 278, we have tried to show the difference also. That with NPPA yeah. and without NPPA, how the amount is differing. Miss, my, just as I may con conclude this five years, that uh, there is no willful disobedience on the part of the authorities. But as, as for the prevailing but as, uh, revision of payroll, because the directions of the Honorable Court were grant them the benefit of benefit of sixth as well as the seventh pay commission benefits. Sixth pay commission, as there was no ambiguity. So, so far as seventh pay commission is concerned, but as, the, as per the revision of payrolls, the directions were that you adopt the, uh, except for the DRS allowance, you pay according to the six pay commission benefits. Therefore, Marils, construing that, Marils, they have calculated the entire Marils, uh, uh, seventh pay commission and Marils granted them the benefits. In my respectful submission, Marils, at the best, it can be termed to be their Marils, uh, interpretation of the concerned GR, which they have made, Marils, because across the state, Marils, they were giving likewise the benefits. And therefore, as in my respectful submission, there is no willful disobedience, except for two matters. However, Ms. assuming all odds against me, Ms. except for two matters, there were no directions issued by the learned single judges in other matters with respect to granting them the benefits of 6th as well as 7th. All the petitions were with respect to 6th pay commission benefits. State was in letters patent topping. The, uh, the Honorable Division Bench dismissed the uh, letters patent appeals preferred by the state and must confirm the orders passed by the learned single judge. By virtue of which, Marils, the order passed by the learned single judge with respect to six pay commission, they were required to adhere to, which they have already done. Just minutes, uh, last minutes, one minute, if my lords may kindly take out time, this, uh, I may take the Honorable Court to the operative portions at paragraph 29 as well as 30 at page number 51. Miss, I'll conclude my submissions. Paragraph 29. For the foregoing reasons, this court does not find any infirmity and in the impugned judgment and order dated 28 
3, 2016, passed by the learned single judge in special civil applications number 10953 of 14, 12238 of 2014, warranting infer interference. The latest patent appeals therefore fail and are accordingly dismissed. It is now is important. The judgment and order passed by the learned single judge shall be complied within a period of four weeks from the date of receipt of the order. Just pausing here for a moment. These are the petitions against which was the directions were issued by the learned single judges, granting them the benefits of six pay commission against which the state was in appeal. And therefore, the honorable division bench dismissed the appeals preferred by the state and directed to comply with the directions issued by the learned single judge, meaning thereby the directions qua sixth pay commission. Is thereafter paragraph 30 in light of the above discussion special civil applications number 17245 of 2016 17275 of 2016 and 18114 of 2016 are hereby allowed the impugned communication dated 29/9/2014 as well as the circular dated 21/2015 are hereby quashed and set aside the respondents are hereby directed to give the benefits of 15% NPPA on revised pay under the 6th pay as well as the 7th pay commission. The payment of non-private practicing allowances to the petitioner shall be restored and their pay scale or pension shall be refixed and paid accordingly. So, because those directions work while these three petitions so far as 6th and 7th both are concerned only. These three petitions were more stacked along with the later patent appeals preferred by the state. Therefore, qua 6th and 7th, these are the three petitions in which only the directions were. However, so far as the other set of petitions are concerned, whereas the Honorable Court confirmed the orders passed by the Honorable Learned Single Judges and directed us that you make a payment accordingly, which was 6th pay. So, therefore, we have paid that. This was the only aspect I needed to point out. Please. That part of it we can take care of. Yes. Here for the rest of the three, 17245, 17275, 18114. We're not, we are not with you. Please. Uh, we will be passing an order. Just then in that case, may I request this vice? Because if at all my lords are not agreeing with the affidavit which has been filed trying to project that a computation was accordingly the according as per the division of payrolls then I may only humbly urge this vice that the honorable court may grant us some time we are not even looking at their affidavit we are just simply going by what you have told us we don't need to touch today's affidavit then then your, your own affidavit is sufficient for us to reach to the conclusion that you have not abided by the rules Whatever the so far as those three petitions are concerned, then may I request this vice that some time may be given for compliance? Look, I mean, your petition is going on for such a long time. I know my limitations. We have we have granted you sufficient time. We wanted all the time at your disposal, and even we were ready to tell you that in today also we told you before you actually pointed out this that we're not even going to touch those petitions where the 6th and 7th both is a dispute. We're not wanting to even touch it. But the 7th Pay Commission where they explicitly granted Supreme Court did not entertain your petition, review petition, and thereafter if, if this is an interpretation that will go by the 6th Pay Commission and the notification. And as Brother Jess is, uh, uh, Desai has rightly pointed out that when this was being argued, that particular GR was already in existence. So had that been the case, the court could have taken note of it. Yes, we, sh we should have, we ordinarily should have, but I can't I argue which much water has been flown thereafter. Was, uh, therefore, See, sometimes some of the judgments, decisions may not be palatable to many of the litigants or the parties. But the fact remains that that is a decision of the court. Whether the parties they like or not, they need to implement it. So nothing can be done about it. Point out that and your, your arguments that uh, the superiors cannot uh, get less than what these people are getting, that is something you know which is not acceptable. We are more concerned about the parties which are before us and those who are before us. This was just an endeavor on my part to highlight that they have not been in willful disobedience of the orders passed by this honorable court. Because at the best, they can be termed to be misinterpreting. That can't be a question which 
ऑफ कोर्स माई लॉर्ड विल है बट देन मतलब दीज आर माई सबमिशन मतलब आई मे पुट माई केस टू रेस्ट मैथ्स because means i can't argue and reargue again but it's what i have already done Miscellaneous Civil Application 440 of 2019, in Special Civil Application 17245 of 2016. Petitioners are livestock inspectors under the Directorate of Animal Husbandry, the Agriculture and Cooperation Department of Government of Gujarat. They were being paid non-private practicing allowance (NPPA) since 1173. as part of the regular monthly salary as well since the same was stopped and the recovery was made from some of the petitioners firm they preferred their ca 1724516 was stopped the petitioner this was challenged by way of letters patent appeal 907 of 2016 no this was challenged in the division bench along with the letters patent appeal 907 of 16 in sc 10953 of 14 and other matters This court by its judgment and order dated nineteen July eighteen. Dismissed the appeals preferred by the state. The directions issued by the court are as follows. You can uh, pair at twenty nine and thirty from page fifty one and take it twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Be from page fifty and fifty one. Center exercise of refixing the pay oblique pension and payment of difference of such amount, since was to be carried out within a period of four weeks from the date of receipt of copy of judgment. The petitions were served with a copy on tenth August two thousand eighteen, and therefore, after the time limit expired on seventh September two thousand eighteen. and when no implementation of the said order was noticed they approached this court under the contempt of court act 1971 and article 215 of the constitution of india paragraph this court
issued the notice on 30th April 2019, making it returnable on 25th June 2019. Quorum. Justice Dave and Justice Vaishnav. Paragraph thereafter on 24th June 2019. The following order came to be passed by the very bench. This quote on 17th August 2020. Directed the respondent number one and two, namely Secretary Animal Husbandry and Director Animal Husbandry to remain personally present through the video conference. You can write the name of the bench, myself and Justice Sanjari. Thereafter, a detailed order came to be passed by this court on 24th September 2020. by specifying that no further time shall be granted to the respondent authority to comply with the orders and to pay the amount to the applicant except up to 9th October 2020. There are four and five of that order. The request made on the next date of hearing, that is 26 October 2020, in the group of petitions posted for pronouncement of judgment. The same was deferred at the request of Planet Government Leader. On the next date, The secretary and ML husbandry will remain present. Ensuring that in two installment, that two installment would be paid at the earliest. You can just 11th of December 2020 order shall be reproduced. This was disposed of, and then thereafter, once again, it has. Uh, it, it was revived thereafter because liberty was one was granted by my notes. When was that last order? When the liberty was given? Various orders came to be passed thereafter when attempts had been made on the part of the authority to comply with the directions. And lastly, 
when this court notices substantial compliance according to the version of the learned AGP in presence of the director animal husbandry. This court uh, on 19th of March 2021. Directed the details of the employees to be separately gathered by both the sides. And they shall be, they were to be answered separately. The breakup sheet of calculation and disbursement in case of each employee was directed to be furnished so that if any anomaly remains, the same could be addressed. Later, where is the order of revival permitted? The last order uh, hmm. while exposing the contempt, my lords had, had uh, granted them liberty. Actually, MCA uh, main contempts have not been revived. Liberty was reserved by my lords. In the order of 7 11 20. That if order remains uncomplied with, then liberty to revive. So I and Mr. Mehta preferred. Revival applications, MCA 1 or 22 preferred by my learned friend, 1 or 21 in 496 is preferred by me. Only seven, factual, I was. 7 11 2020, my lords had uh, hmm. in paragraph 13, my lords, the Honorable Court may have. In the event of non fulfillment of these directions, the petitioners are given liberty to seek revival of this matter, where this court shall also adjudicate the issue of contempt at an appropriate time. The note was thereafter filed by my learned senior friend, Mr. Pujara, and was pursuant to which the matters came before this honorable court.
सेम टू बी बाय थ्री This is an order of which date? This is an order of which date? Thank you. Thank you much. Let's go fast to detail order. Fourteenth October two thousand twenty-two. Directing the amount for the period of thirty-nine months, as per the six pay commission, to be paid on or before ten twenty-first October twenty-two, and the request on the part of the learned AGP to allow her to file an affidavit in relation to the seventh pay commission for the employees other than three hundred and eleven employees were concerned. We permitted the same within a period of one week. Your affidavit is subsequent to this, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, there all the affidavits thereafter we have filed. So it's after the revival of the uh, contempt, after the note which was filed. After the note was filed, the revival uh, order has been passed. Because pursuant to the note, only whereas the matters have been because mm -hmm. in the status the matters are shown to be disposed of. <laughs> Affidavit in reply on behalf of the respondent number two has been filed. On 13 January 2023, Dr. Kalpesh Kumar Shankarlal Vaishnav is working as an in-charge deputy director of Animal Husbandry, Office of Directorate of Animal Husbandry, Gujarat State, has uh, Categorically stated that the issue with respect to the grant of benefit of fifteen percent NPPA as per the seventh pay commission is concerned. It is required to be brought to the notice of the court. And the same was accepted by the state government by government resolution dated sixteenth August two thousand sixteen. Issued by the state of Gujarat through the finance department. The recommendation with respect to seventh pay commission were given effect to by virtue of the GR dated sixteenth August sixteen, or the salaries being paid to the government employees. Clause seven provided that all government employees of the state, till further orders are not passed, comma shall be entitled to all the allowances, except dearness allowance, which shall be calculated on the basis of the pay computed in accordance with the six pay commission. It is further submitted that while accepting the recommendation of Seventh Pay Commission, all the employees across the state of Gujarat were to be granted the benefit and emolument in accordance with the Sixth Pay Commission till further orders as per the policy of the state.
by virtue of the GR 16th August 2016 and the implementation of benefits to be accorded under 7th Day Commission are implemented throughout the state. Therefore, as per the prevalent state policy with respect to the grant of benefit of 7th Day Commission, the petitioners were granted the benefit of the 7th Day Commission. Ms. Patak, do you realize that this, this affidavit which has been filed by your officer just goes directly in contempt? Do you realize this? Some officer may unnecessarily be you know, put to the geo party. Because I may just uh, support it this way, if it appeals to the Honorable Court rules. So far as the he may not understand also what he has written. The three matters are concerned. Whereas I may request this wise if it appeals to the Honorable Court. Whereas if the Honorable Court is of the whereas prima facie opinion that we have not complied with the directions, whereas we will comply subject to some look, time given to the Honorable Look, you must realize that you also have admittedly said that it is as per the 2016 please, GR. Please. The state policy says that we are going to implement this seventh pay commission, we have accepted the recommendations, yes. but we shall be doing as per the sixth pay commission. Yes. Admittedly, the seventh pay commission you not given, and allowances also as per the sixth pay commission you given, not per the seventh pay commission. Time. That sixth pay are... is given. So far, as seventh pay, plus I understand that their interpretation may not be Marul's. It is not their interpretation, it's the court's directions, you must realize. I get it, Marul's, but. And you are you are banking upon the notification which is prior to the court's directions. The court's judgment has come in 2018. Had that been the case, there was no question of the court not considering it. But anyway, if you're still wanting to stick to that stage, we, we cannot help it. I may, not, I may not stick to that. I may not have that. I'm not saying that the officers are not adamant enough to stick and to that. And you yourself, being the NGP who is who have been dealing with these many matters day in and day out. You know it. Yes, Had there been somebody who's quite, you know, no wise to this entire field, we would have expected them not to know the nuances, which is not a case in your case. You know this. It's a different thing that they stick to a particular point. I mean, do not understand as to why do you do this. Yes, that fixation is also done. So therefore, I may not stretch it to that extent, but as I may just humbly my resorts today before the Honorable Court that if the Honorable Court has not much accepted our justification or explanation, but then some mercy may be shown to the officers. I may just request this wise humbly words that some breathing time may be given and we may comply as per the directions issued by the Honorable Court. This was just our interpretation. Therefore, I am specifically stating that it is not as though but as any adamant approach is there or willfully that will not be doing it. But this was our understanding which we have put forth in the affidavit. It may not be Marad's correct. It may not be true. It may not this be rate. the true spirit. But Marad, it Ms. Patak, yes. you know the situation very well, right? Now, since you are willing to comply with the order passed by this court, then why you wanted any timeline from the court? You yourself file an affidavit, indicate that within what time will you comply with the order of the court? Where Thereafter, the court will consider whether the timeline is too long, too short, whether it is acceptable, unacceptable. I shall do that. I shall do that. I shall do that. Do it within two, three days. Please. I shall do that. I shall do that. Thank you. And be specific. Please. In which matters you want to comply with the direction, in which matter you do not want to comply with the direction, in which matter, according to you, you have already complied with the order. I will put it by way of an affidavit and prepare a chart. Please. This is the petition. This is the order. What government proposed to do and within what time. Please. The affidavit 
should not be in form of justification. Certainly. Only timeline. Please, I'll put a table. As precise and short as possible. Please, I'll put a tabular form. And this petition wise, I'll point out. And I'll, I'll merge. So that we need not go to this order, that order, this paragraph, please. that. Please, merge. And you must also see your own uh, implementation of the seventh pay commission. So just see that. Please. In case of some of your offices, you already done it. So therefore, it is not that you need to actually go somewhere to find out as to what implementation that you need to do. You already done in case of some of them, which they have pointed out. Unfortunately, in the afternoon, only at 3.15, I received this. Otherwise, I... Yes, but no, no, no. We are not saying about yes. that. In fact, if you look at it, it's your own uh, uh, NXR R3 277 that they have depended on while pointing out to this that, court. That is, in fact, a calculation as per the pay rules. I will not join those issues to that, but it was as per the calculation provided in the revision of pay rules. And Mr. Majmudar, if the affidavit was affirmed on 10th of February... Why you kept it with you for more one week? You could have served the copy well in advance to learn it. I could have taken the instructions. I kept it ready last week. For submission of court, you it is understandable. But why did you not serve the advance copy to learn it AGP? Every time, why do you expect the learned AGP to be ready with all your submissions? In fact, and apart from that, apart from that, the court every time has been asking and every time it is the affidavit of either side that it needs to deal with. Why? In fact, what happened? And as Brother Justice Desai is saying that if this is affirmed well in advance, you could have given it to her. What was there to hide? 10th February, a week before. And she is not dealing with one matter. She's dealing not with sure. many matters. And here also the calculation will have to be quite much but Ms. Patak, please remember Lordships. that uh, the interpretation which has been given, you need to interpret because you know it. What is the interpretation? If they do not want to do it for the entire state and they, they are very categorically in the affidavit has said that we cannot do it because we have accepted the seventh pay recommendations. But right now we are implementing for the entire state, the six pay commission recommendations and therefore we cannot do it for some of them and not do it for others yes that can never be the ground we are right now concerned with only the litigants we're not concerned with the rest of the employees they may then thereafter decide whatever they want to square those petitions wherein there were only directions for sixth pay there and you can you can there you can we we're not saying anything please, about it please. we have not we are not even opining on this please and if need be so if we need to go into that, we will see about it. Right now, we are just focusing on those three Please. petitions Please. where there is a specific direction of the court. Please. What we completely disapprove is that once there is a direction from the courts sealed by the Supreme Court, then nobody can take a stand that, no, we, we are going to do what we think is right. That nobody is permitted. If the court's orders are taken up so lightly, we can't have a rule of law. They can't dare to us do that. Because there can't be any possibility of taking the so, right. Let it be made very clear yes. that once there is, a, there is a, you have a right to go right up to the apex court. But once there is direction. Does, right. We have 50 paying slips here, Lordships, it's of the same it? department, those who have not gone to the court. <laughs> It is since maintained that the benefit as per the GR of 2016 has been granted. The affidavit is filed today on behalf of the applicant in response to the affidavit in reply of 13 January 2023.
time that since this affidavit has come, we are giving you an opportunity to just, uh, so, so we're leaving it at that stage. So. Uh, learn it, AGB, since has received this copy today, she will need to respond to the same. We have pointed out to her that in three of the petitions where the court has explicitly granted sixth and seventh pay commission, she shall need to be specifying to this court the timeline for compliance. Let the same be done on or before 21st. The specific, uh, the, the brief affidavit with submission will suffice. Please, may I request for a day more 22nd if we talk? All right, 22nd. I'm obliged. Immensely grateful. Uh, Would that tell your clerk to have proper pagination as well? Lordships. Therefore, in fact, I'll do the needful pagination. It will have to be in continuity. Because last page it cannot be just a, Don't say your first page indicates that you are aware this is, this is filed in response of page yes, number 261 that, to 280. So it should start from 285. I'll do the Nirpul by my learned friends last affidavit. Late at present, I'll do in registry, you know, if it can be taken upon record, you know. Now, I'll go to the registry, you know, my statement may be recorded. Right. Lordship, I'm obliged to teach. In fact, I would request my learned friend to comply with for all petitions. Otherwise, we are, we are right now. Three are given and one is not. No, no. We are, look, she has been contesting it uh, tooth and nail that it is restricted to only uh, this. If need be so, I mean, we are right now specifically telling her about because we found Lord, this. Uh, Lord, oh, so far as the others are concerned, maybe, you know, we need to take a call and then we'll see about Lord, it. I'm grateful. Oblige your watch. Can you please open the it? By the secretary and we may be given in advance. Yes, it would be the director. Uh, director of animal husbandry. Please. So, Oblige your lordship. Maybe take leave now. Yes, Oblige. please. June 2024. So original are here. I think that is the expired passport. Uh, one was al already renewed, man. The other was not. not <laughs> there are total four of three kids. One is expiring 2024. Yes. Others are 2020. And uh, brother Justice Desai remembers that uh, the original which had come. Yes had already been taken by your client because it was with a seal and he's uh, he remembers that it is a I remember uh, one portion was signed at new zealand another portion was signed here please there were two sir. seals please new sir. zealand and uh, ahmedabad please. right please sir. on that day your client had come personally with that please sir. and i distinctly remember that when it was passed over to the bench please sir. thereafter we handed over back to the court master and in turn it was handed over very to your true. client very true that was written back because it was neither uh, notify, uh, sorry, notarized by my client, nor it was registered. Subsequently, that was the order on 5th of August that get it notarized by your client and get it registered. That was the order on 5th of August. And on 21st of October, he got it registered and notarized. And then it was written back 
the original copy to be compared by the learned registrar judicial to be compared with the photocopy. And therefore, on 21st of October, it was taken on record. It was written back because it was a photocopy. So, uh, have we made a note of that in our order? That Please, is, the original is being given. Please, the... Today, yeah. today, the original is taken on record according to the order of 5th of right. August. So, then you write. I am not joining case, an issue. No, no, right? no, no, no issue. We can ask the registrar judicial in that case to see and then find out. Now, the original passport, uh, uh, which are, of course, expired, but they can be handed over uh, to your client. Please, my Is lords. he present? Please, my lords. My lord may say only one word about that, that the original is written back to me. You do not uh, I'm not requiring. But at least, my lord, the copy of uh, agreement may be given to me. <laughs> The criminal misuse application one of twenty two in three four one nine of twenty. The original of the original settlement agreement, which was directed to be retained by the registrar uh, judicial by virtue of order of this court, dated twenty first of October two thousand twenty two. Twenty first October. 2022. Please, my lords. Here is the order. <coughs> Pair of five. Pair of five. It's order dated 21st October 2022. Comparing with the certified true copy, which has been tendered before this court, the registrar can return this to the applicant as well. Yes. The original document, since has been directed to be retained by the registrar judicial. This is. After comparing with the certified record, before this court, can be returned. The registrar can return this to the Because it was written back, the Honorable Court is right. Comparing with the certified true copy, which has been tendered before this court, the registrar judicial can return this to the applicant husband. After comparing it with the photocopy. The certified copy. Yes. Certified true yes. copy. Yes. If you remember on that day, registrar judicial also was directed to be here and in his presence, this order was passed. Please. please. See, client must have taken it back. Because the certified true copy, uh, he was saying that he would be in a need of certified true copy. So uh, that was uh, on 5th of August. On 5th of August, he was having only one side notarized copy that was at New Zealand. That was not notarized at India. On 5th of August, my lord directed that it has to be notarized in India also. And therefore, the matter was kept on 21st of October. My lords are talking about order dated 21st October. On that day, the original was produced. It was seen by the court and thereafter it was returned to you. It appears, and the order is quite clear. This could not have been retained by the registrar judicial. It says that after comparing with the certified true copy, which has been tendered before this court, the registrar judicial can return this to the applicant. I inquired from the learned registrar judicial also. According to him, he said that it has not come to me, and therefore I could have not compared it, and therefore I would not return it back to you. I am only in the custody. The, the passport is in my custody. Nothing else is in my custody. Can we make a request? Just go to the YouTube uh, proceedings on that day. Right. So 21st October 20. I have checked that 21st October YouTube recording is not there. No, no, no. There ought to be there. It is not any. 
it cannot be that it, it's not there it, please yeah, we do not know whether it's available or not but then uh, the it department would surely have please it. manage please manage so you can just check that We'll pass an order. We're putting an end to this matter. Highly obliged, my lords. We will be saying that uh, if if we find on, uh, uh, say, YouTube, uh, yeah, it, was that it, is, yeah, it was standard, we'll say the original to be returned to the husband. But since the original is not there, uh, again, the issue will come to that point only, that what is to be returned if original no, is after, not there. After watching this, whether Please we have, what have we done thereafter only. Other, otherwise, if he requires this copy, you can take this copy. You without, without when you signed it and sent it from New Zealand without retaining any copy of uh... Manu, we, we, we have Xerox copy of one sided sign. My client has signed uh, one sided and sent it to him so that he can he can. Sign what it. happened to thirteen B? They have it? not. They, they have not withdrawn the. Uh, uh, they have not filed thirteen B and they are not. Uh, they are not because agreement. this agreement is required to be kept over there on record because the order stands at my face. This agreement it decides the custody. Now the order of this honorable court and of the apex court stares on my face. The family court cannot give me the custody unless there is an agreement that is taken on record before this court. That agreement I place on record before the family court. All right. Uh, what we can do is that uh, since we have kept another matter on 22nd, we can also keep this on 22nd. Mm -hmm. And on that day, uh, by then, uh, let uh, the court master check Please this uh, YouTube. Highly obliged. Hmm? Highly obliged. And the passport will also be returned on that day. Or my lord, they are returning the passport. No, we are returning the passport today. Just right now. Return the right my lord, may observe that in the order. Yes. Uh, passports. You have no objection. No, I don't have. The passports, old passports, which are retained by the registrar judicial shall be written to the applicant, right? Please, my lord. Applicant. Husband. Husband. What is his name? Devendra Singh Gallat. Please, my lord. Who now is in, who, is, who now is having the custody of the children. Please, my lord. My lord, my lord may also record that he has also received the uh, uh, renewed passports. Yes, the renewed passports yes, have been received by him as is being confirmed by the learned uh, Advocate Mr. Desai, uh, after inquiring from the applicant who is present before this court. Please, my lords. First, got it. Uh, apart from this matter, my lords, one unusual mentioning with my lords' permission, that is with uh, my lords sitting with Justice Thakur. No, that please, is please, wait, please wait. Matrimonial, uh, that is when Justice Thakur is uh, sitting. If it doesn't come, we'll see about it. Uh, we are aware of... Uh, because... Uh, my lord, we are, yeah. we, we, are, we are aware of it and don't worry. Please, my lords. Highly obliged. Grateful, man. Serial number one, Miss Mosmi Wada is file sick note. And last time we tried Mangan. That's a funny match. Another application. Mm -hmm.
Anybody appearing for Ms. Wala? She's trying to seek note or leave note? Seek note. Seek note. Criminal Misuse Application 2 of 22 in Criminal Appeal 1756 of 2019. This matter we have taken up, though the learned uh, advocate uh, for the applicant is not present and has filed sick note. For the reason that this applicant, that the application for temporary bail had been decided by this court on 16 March 2022 by dismissing the same and imposing the cost of rupees one lakh. Paragraphs for seeking modification, the applicant had approached this court. We could notice that later, the amount has been already deposited with uh, this court through a check of a third party. The request has continued for reviewing the order, where the essential ground is that he has a pocket money of rupees 4,000 every month, which is meager, which would not allow him to pay the cost. Paragraph, we notice that the glaring circumstances had resulted into this court issuing the direction of imposing the cost of rupees one like Any change in the same, you first need it. Needs to be challenged. No cause for review in the petition is made out, dismissed. Just write the name of Lanid, APP. We need to reiterate at this stage that uh, it is not the order of temporary bail which is sought to be modified and therefore this does not involve the question of personal liberty of person. What is, what had been insisted on is the change to be made in the cost which has been imposed by the court. Okay. Number two to four is Devdeep Rambat. Uh, to be a Mangukya, Ms. Bela Prajapati has filed. Uh, lots of in this matter, settlement was going on. Uh, she has offered on a uh, vegetation right only on first Saturday of every month. Uh, so that is only the matter of uh, um, I actually. See, this if one you, well had, had, if you uh, feel that it is uh, the it is going on and there's a likelihood of uh, settlement, it is fine. Otherwise, we can decide it uh, okay. because you have come before this court for seeking the modification of the order. Lordship, uh, and she, in fact, has come. We have already granted whatever we needed to uh, grant. Yes, Lordship. And uh, on every Saturday, Sunday, she has to send the child. That is also not being followed by her. And uh, matter is... Lord CP, we can we can read the bus uh, if you see uh, the, the last occasion you say they requested the matter to be posted after two weeks as the parties are attempting amicable settlement. Uh -huh. 
if you feel that the settlement has not uh, progressed or is not likely to happen, we can post this matter for uh, then. Uh, no. So only for hearing. Mm -hmm. And the hearing is that she is seeking the modification of the, our earlier order. Uh, yes, Lordship. Uh, so three, four days time, uh, if convenient to Lordship, mm -hmm. uh, either on the next week, uh, this matter may be posted during this period. Uh, either a settlement will be done finally or Lordship uh, may pass order accordingly. Mr. Devdeep Prambhat appearing for the... You are appearing for respondent? Uh, for uh, husband, actually original uh, applicant uh, for APS corpus. Uh, uh, SCRA was uh, hmm. uh, preferred by me. Appearing for Mr. Dhru, Dhru Janakai, yes, right? Yes, uh, Dhru Patel. Dhru Patel, husband. Submits the uh, of the child. that the settlements has not as yet arrived at one last you want yes. one one yeah. more week, one more week to be allowed for the parties to make an attempt. If that is not done, the court may pass an appropriate order. Today we notice that Ms. Bela Prashapati has filed a sick note. Let the matter be posted. Matter is being posted on 24th as a last chance if in case there is any sick note or leave not alternative arrangement shall be made. Of like much of like. Number five, Ms. Taruna Makwana, Mr. Gajendra Aget. The CRMA 3 of 22 uh, is something where you want an early hearing of the matter. So, so then it is yes. gone. Mr. Devdeep Brambat is gone. Mr. Devdeep Brambat. Okay, I'm rejected. So, earlier all these things. Your application for early hearing, uh, you're pressing into service? Uh, no, Lord uh, uh, That may be disposed of. <clears throat> In wake of the attempt of compromise, the application CRM 3 of 22 is not being pressed into service by learned advocate, mm -hmm. disposed of uh, with a permission to revive his request if in case the other side does not proceed and the compromise also is not effected. Number okay. five, Ms. Taruna Makwana, Kajin Worship, last time the Lord has passed an order to for counseling of the both the parties. Worship, but uh, at this my client has instructed me that no calls from received from him. Sorry. No call has been received, my Lord. No calls have been received. No call has been received. It's surprising. Nobody might have coordinated. We would expect learned APP to please uh, take a. Uh, criminal Missions Application 1 of 22 in Special Criminal Application 1 to 669 of 20. Yes. This is the well being center of well being. Uh, according to Learned, uh, we have also requested Ms. Chaveri to coordinate. I think this um, might, might have missed out on this. This, uh, this is an app. Learned Advocate Ms. Taruna Makwana, appearing for the applicant, has made a request that no call has been received from the Center for Happiness and Wellbeing 
National Forensic Science University, Gandhinagar. We would request the learned APP, Ms. Chaveri, to coordinate without fail. The attempts shall be made for parties to. All right, so we can we can tell this and we may not give her, you, we, we can give that, you can say that we can additionally request the registrar judicial to also coordinate so that. May I request to keep this matter next slide? It won't, won't serve the purpose because they will, they will ask you and you will go and the report they will be sending, they will also say what are the possibilities. Everything will have to be worked out. They'll need minimum three to four weeks. So in the meantime, you can uh, just make an attempt. Let this be on, uh, we can. As such, petition does not survive now. Mm -hmm. So let them make an effort. Otherwise, they can take a recourse on what they have in the already granted the right of visitation, which had been suspended for the period of six months due to the conduct. And the same had been revived thereafter. This is an another attempt to bring an amicable end to the entire dispute. Let this process be continued for some time and if necessary, after once receiving the report from the center, Buddha Counseling Center, or not Buddha, the, the Center of uh, Well-being well -being and Happiness, National Forensic University, Coma. The matter can be placed before the court. Otherwise, it is pausing off. Uh, yes. For the reason that Justice Bhatt pointed out that uh, the main matter has already been disposed of. We have, we have given the right to the yes. husband already. Yes. It was because the some rakas that had been created, we had seen it. So let it be. Please, and if you need that, uh, if this is things are going on smoothly, this is for bringing a final end to their, uh, you know, any disputes that uh, we have referred them to the center of well-being. So she says that if need be so, let them place a report and then in that case, uh, course intervention can be asked for. Thank you. Number 6, Mr. Premal Nanavati with Mr. Abhijit Thakkar, Social Asia. Jani? Uh, 
20,000 rupees she, she wanted a uh, apartment. So 20,000 towards rent, which can be deposited one year in advance to and not to full responsibility of the I mean the, the, the board. Still, some reservation. Now, I mean, I don't think it is asking them. Either, not in the respect of the argument, but all the custom in two months, we already argued more than twice. We have taken in such a mild. Meanwhile, CS, Mr. Unwala is appearing in this matter. Request for only one week. Is so that matter can be uh, amicably settled. We are discussing on that point only, man. Not any other. So. Anyway, uh, we had given both the sides an opportunity to just see that if it can be resolved and all that, it is fine. What happened to the revival of uh, uh, the passport? Passport, my lord. Uh, uh, we have taken the uh, appointment, my lord. That it, the appointment was given for on twenty fourth February of this. Uh, the appointment. When is it expiring? Twenty fourth March. Twenty fourth March. Twenty fourth February is the date of appointment. You given an appointment. You've been given an appointment. Twenty fourth February. Twenty fourth February. Okay. Near state as. As for the print value, it is second on second or first of Special Criminal Application 5059 of 
This quote on 1st April, 1st April 2022. Passed a detailed order <clears throat> in relation to the custody of the child, which was directed to be handed over to the petitioner father for a period of two months, permitting him to take the child with him to USA. There were further directions issued. Paragraph. When it was realized after some time that both the sides, that when it was realized that there was non implementation of the directions issued by this court, the affidavits were directed to be filed specifying implementation and non implementation. Full stop. After those affidavits came on record on 22nd July 2022, we deemed it appropriate to avail an opportunity to avail opportunity and opportunity to the parties for amicably settling the disputes. From 29 July 2022 onwards, various adjournments have been given. It is given to understand to this court that various proposals have been given, which are not accepted by the Respondent wife. The passport of the child since was the, the passport of the child who is a US citizen since was expiring. The renewal was a must. Therefore, we directed the NOC to be obtained and all requisite procedures to be followed in our order dated 28th January 2023. We noticed that till the, the appointment sort is of 24th February. It has been given to you or you have sought the time, this 24th? It was at your request. To be it was at your request, 24th has been given. You sought for one week. One week. And you two weeks. I know my son. We have told, but only because of some... Uh, big... Today, what is the so, so. change in council? That is only said some council is appearing. That is the sole ground for your adjournment. Yes, my lord. But meanwhile, my lord, uh, we have also taken care, my lord. We have tried, and at some level, they are agreed. The wife is agreed, my lord. Only for a few points, she is not, my lord. We are trying on, so that matter can be uh, settled. That is what my. Lord. See, we have felt we have felt that uh, what is being done is only to seek adjournment. What is being done is only to just uh, ensure that the matter is stretched. No, we have no any intention to stretch this matter, my lord. Only one week, on, on that day, my lord, if uh, not settled, we will uh, conduct uh, as per the... Renewal of passport was in whose interest? In, that is only in the oh, interest, interest of child. child my there was no one's interest which is being attached. Yes. For that, you seek at least more than three adjournments. For what reason? Mm. We are failed to understand. On the last occasion, the wife have received the NOC from the uh, husband, my lord. When so was when that? To apply, I think it has been given. What? Right. 
Got it. So what is it? Which according to the respondent on account of the fact that there was no other appointment available with the consulate. Be that as it may, the fact remains that the entire issue is stretched uh, beyond a point. Considering the age of the child, who is a minor, and in, on account of the serious disputes of the spouses, his childhood is being, being lost. We were keen to see that the parties can amicably settle the disputes and the visitation rights if at all they choose not to live together and be finalized. Noticing the conduct of the parties over the period of time, we deem it appropriate to grant last one week. No further time shall be given. It is also to be reminded to each side that there is a detailed order already passed by this court in relation to the custody of the child and the entire exercise <clears throat> in post 1st April 2022 period is to find out as to why the order has not been complied with. Let the attempt be made and a, a joint report shall be tendered before this court in writing if need be with the affidavit of the parties to be posted. Now, as far as the permanent settlement is concerned, I, we have conveyed an amount. A, amount 30 lakhs plus 12,000 dollars is already given to them. That plus 30 lakhs is for the wife. Uh, lifetime education expenses and all ancillary, ancillary expenses of the child also. But they want everything to be paid at this juncture. We said that we will give an undertaking before this honorable court that for the life, the kids' education and ancillary expenses are on us. So they would not have to, if at all there is a default on our part, they would not have to run from pillar to post because there is an undertaking before this honorable court. And the third, second difference point is that they want a house or a shelter as they may put it. We said that you get a house we will pay the rent of that house or EMI for that matter and we will pay one year advance to you. We want the visitation, right? We want full custody, but if they do not want to part with it, my lord, we are ready. No. For at least three months, they will not. Three months. They, yes. For there also, there is a difference of opinion. That also is... In custody, my lord, uh, there is no need. At least two months exclusive custody, either here or at US. Once a year. Once, once, a year. A, once a year. And in my respectful submission, the entire amount for the flat and the child ex expense cannot be quantified at this juncture. The child will be a doctor or the child will be a become graduate. How can we quantify this? That is my submission. If there is an undertaking for this honorable court, there is always a remedy of contempt. Right. You can just think along the line. 
we do not know as to what are the finances and how it is going to work out but let some amount in lump sum he may be sent to the stream of medicine or engineering or whatever whatever is convenient to the husband if you can think of in lump sum just think of it you not saying that he needs to do that but just think along the line so that even if once they separate and their ties are severed may not so happen that every time you know because of that you need to be bothered about not that your child is ever going to be ceased to be your child but the finance part of it and whatever amount that is being given towards the child's education the court will ensure that that goes in the fund the some some fixed deposits are somewhere it's not going to just be available to them so no no you may not do that but then it will be i mean who can be a guardian to that the court can also be a guardian so that that also can i mean she can be made uh, so, so. husband or the father doesn't mind taking the custody of the child she does not want to give it being a mother understandable but at the same time that cannot be the reason for you not working and you're saying that no i can be given as in a case of somebody who is not earning or who's incapable she's an engineer yes so is. she she's technically uh, if you look at it so but we're not wanting to right now enter into that arena if the parties they can work out some amicable solution fair enough but no for the time Please. Please. Four leg also is deposited. Travel, but now five legs. We have deposited five hundred. Yes. And why are you wanting to drag this entire matter, sir? Accordingly, to advise your client accordingly. You know the recourse is available under law, so you are aware of what is to be, what best can be done. And you need to also keep one thing in mind. Not that we want to give them an idea, but at the same time. today when you are before the high court and when this is the, the proposal is being mooted from the bench you are at an advantageous position this wise that you, otherwise you'll need to go to the family court ask for the you know maintenance even for other things and the husband is in usa yeah that is he's not likely to come back if at all he comes you would not even come to know about it even if you come to know about it, it's not going to be an easy task so why not to do it you know when actually it is it is coming from the bench but if you think that no you going to drag it and unless you know it comes to this that we will not permit uh, on last so this is last week that you getting otherwise we'll pass necessary order and this is in this is in relation to the custody that you come to this court Please. this is something which we have chosen for the betterment of the child that we are insisting that let both the sides understand something and if there is some unreasonable uh, aspect that is coming from him bring it to our notice we are here to deal with it please okay i'm grateful one